Hello, everybody. Welcome to what, for me, has been a long-awaited day, a long-awaited night. Um, I am extremely, and I have been extremely excited for Starfield. And it's finally out. I Like, not officially, but um, early access just dropped. Thank you, by the way, everybody, for all the subs and everything. I really appreciate it. Killing the 99 candle needs, Fraggy Foxes. I appreciate all of that so much. Um, <clears throat> I've been excited about this game for years. Like, I was excited to... Vinny, hi, thank you so much. I appreciate the sub. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I hope I enjoy it too. Yeah, um, I'm I'm a big fan of Bethesda and I'm a big fan of this like style of RPG. One of my most recent like games that I just absolutely like devoured and loved the entire time was actually The Outer Worlds. Um, so like speaking as somebody whose standards seem to be about the Outer Worlds level, um, I, I think this game is gonna deliver for me personally. Obviously, jury still out, we'll have to see. Um, but I've been excited about the concept of this game since its announcement and everything I've seen of it so far really speaks to me. Let me turn the volume down real quick just to really give myself some headroom here audio wise. Let me know if that sounds good to everybody. It sounds good to me. Um, so yeah, I honestly like... Like I said, I'm a big fan of uh, I'm a big fan of Bethesda, and I I I truly believe I have some pretty leveled expectations for this game. Um, I think a lot of people are expecting this to be like you know, the fucking second coming of the RPG genre, and to that I say, you see, Baldur's Gate three just came out. That game's pretty fucking good, but <laughs> I but I I kind of know what I want out of this game. And I think that what I want out of this game is something that it is in a very good place to deliver on. Um, if it is at all like kind of like a half decent space sim, not even like a sim, but like just I I just really love the like open world kind of space fantasy that they've that they've sold. Um, and I don't really need much more than that. Maybe I don't know. Obviously. Thinking about this game in concept is is nothing compared to the experience of actually like playing it and in action. It could work, it could not work. We'll see. Holly, hi, it's so good to see you. Starfield, you can go to space, you can talk to the guy in space if you want. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to that guy. Holly, if it's okay, I would actually like to go to space and just sit by all of the space rocks, if that's cool. Am I allowed? Let me know. Please get back to me about that at your earliest convenience. Last slice of pie, thank you so much for the sub. And uh, Grimnir and Aspeny, thank you so much for the subs. Okay, it's up to you. Thank you, Holly. So good luck. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, so obviously, I think, I, th I think it's pretty clear given the way I like jumped right into the menu here, which is never ever something that I do on these streams. I'm pretty excited. Probably can expect I like really want to get into this. So like, let's get into it. Um, let me like peruse the settings. Forgive me if like the early stream here is um, kind of a lot of fiddling with the settings. You know how it is with PC games. I am playing this on PC. Um, although I will be playing with the thematically appropriate Starfield controller to begin with. We'll see if that ends up being a good experience. If I want to switch to Kibi and Mouse, I have no reservations doing so but oh and also by the way once again extremely extremely important extremely important caveat here not a full playthrough not a full playthrough not a full playthrough not a full playthrough okay okay i'm here for my first impressions like baldur's gate 3 i'm not writing off the possibility of doing a future starfield check-in this is not going to be a full stream playthrough. I will be playing this on my own time. I apologize, but also I kind of need this game on my own time. And uh, it's too it's too big, I imagine, for me to handle. And there's a lot of stuff coming up. So yeah. Anyway, um, everything looks pretty good. 
I'm gonna try, when I booted up the game, it had render resolution scale set to 75% and dynamic resolution on. And I think that's because they also have um, upscaling automatically set to FSR 2. I could try running this at a full 4K right out the gate. I'm gonna try like 80% resolution scale with FSR 2 and see how that kind of works out. If it if it ends up being a, like a like a good image quality, I might also um, pull up like uh, Reva Tuner and uh, set this down to to 60, limit it to 60 FPS because I don't really need. I feel like I don't need 120 for this game. Um, so if if, if I, I again, like I said, expect some fiddling with performance and settings in the near future. But um, I'm gonna do my best to like kind of get it get it locked down as early as possible. Um, if 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 these settings right here end up being like too heavy for my system, then I can always pull back and we can go for something a little more conservative. Um, yeah, the, yeah, Starfield, famous Twitch shooter. Okay, I'm ready. I'm very excited. <laughs> I I'm so ex guys guys. I'm about to make a dang astronaut. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's start a new game. It just it just loads into the Skyrim opening. <laughs> it's similar. They they got the Bethesda Game Studios on the on the black background. Hell yeah! Oh man! I feel similarly hearing the the menu music earlier when I did a test boot up made me feel similarly to when I did booting up Tears of the Kingdom. Like I wanted to scream. Argos Extractors Mining Outpost, Moon of Vectera. Hello? Are we resting? <gasps> Hello. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Dude. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Lady, the character models actually look really best. good. <laughs> exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. The facial animation's not too bad safe. either. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, <laughs> and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. I don't know what that means. Shame we won't find any down here. Oh, but I gotta figure out what kind of character I'm playing. should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. They're throwing a lot you know, of words at me right most now. Most dusties don't even I make like it, it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Uh, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. <laughs> okay. I wonder, is, is this game running at 120? Or is it whoa? Okay, okay. uh let's see what we've oh. got. How are we on time? So far I actually think um I actually think I'm gonna uh keep it like the visual settings at 80% with FSR2. Uh that actually looks quite good to me. Um let me go ahead. I think I'm just gonna preemptively lock this to 60 just to be safe if it's not already. Um I think that would Overall, just be easier. It's it's easier for my computer to run that, and also, uh, OBS at the same time. So one moment. Oh, that's the wrong. No, okay. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. Starfield. Starfield. Where's the folder? Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to look for the. 
I'm looking for the game. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Let's application detection level. Let's set that to high. Frame rate at 60. There we go. That should. You think there are going to be alien babies in this game? I don't. I hope there are no babies at all in this game. If this game has babies in it, I'm refunding. I am using the Starfield controller. Yeah. A little longer. At first. Always, uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive. Isabel today. from Animal Crossing? Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. The the environmental artwork and like lighting here. I'm actually kind of shocked at how good this looks <laughs> compared to like Fallout 4. This is kind of insane. He's just got his laser. He's just hanging out. Can I try? Oh, okay. Sorry. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm not gonna apologize for hopping into the settings this early on. You, un, you know the drill. You understand. Um, set that to low. Let's also let's take that film grain down to about half. You make your cut. You get your cut. No exceptions. There we Come go. On, That's a little better. Out. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What I try. Stay the course. No man. Troy, shoot me. Troy, I'm gonna pretend like I'm a rock. Well, okay, It'll be then. so funny. Let's call this one I can't crouch right now. Why don't you move over to that big thing? So much for interplanetary yes, freedom, right, Todd? I can't even crouch in the tutorial. Yeah, they got the they got the patented Bethesda long drawn out opening. I'm into it. I like I love the vibe so far. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Okay, can I be honest? I hate playing this on controller. I'm I'm not feeling controller. <laughs> maybe maybe eventually, when we're like if if we get to a point where I'm just like, um, I don't know, like walking around a planet or something. But I gotta switch to Kiwi. I'm sorry. I'm such I'm such a I'm such a Kiwi pilled, Kiwi pilled gamer. Okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, cutter. Oh, cool. Press the mouse on to fire. Awesome. It's a laser, guys. I have a free laser. Damn it. <laughs> they knew immediately. Wow. Okay. I'm liking the UI so far. It's got a cool vibe. Now I hear this is the last dig. Glad when we're off this rock. Take care of yourself out there. Uh, yeah? He's chewing gum really, really fast. He's actually going for the world record. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Now I hear this is the last dig. That's what happens when you mash the talk button. He starts his talking animation over and over again. That's awesome. Take care of yourself out there. Hey, you too, man. Enjoy your gum. I thought, guys, I thought I was strong enough. I'm not strong. <laughs> I can't, I'm not strong enough. Can I change the, I forget. Are there, does Bethesda ever do FOV sliders? Sharpening, like up here. Uh, there is none. Cool, love that gameplay. All right. Hey, these are great, great settings. All right, awesome. There we go. Okay, yeah, that feels right. Perfect. That's the first thing I do every game. I, I feel so embarrassed because I'm actually, I, I've gone on stream and, and talked about like, I actually really like motion blur if it's implemented well. And then like, 
in so many games in recent memory, I've went and turned off motion blur because I'm like, it makes me sick. <laughs> but I promise there are some instances of motion blur I really like, okay? Like when I play Spider-Man 2, I might play it uh, 30 FPS with motion blur and you're just gonna have to deal with that. That's a maybe. I haven't figured it out yet. I'll have to see what Digital Foundry says about the, the gram fix. Insomniac's motion blur is actually really, really good. I don't know what like magic spell they put on their motion blur, but it's like, it's like some of the best in the industry, IMO. Like I'm just, I'm just mining. And you know what? I I'm mining my own business. Maybe you could, maybe you could uh, do the same. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's what you'll get if you fuck with me again. Oh shit, I'm sorry. He's, he's, he's literally a miner. I shouldn't treat him that way. They're ready for us. Get back up here. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Actually, yes. They had a picture of uh, Sailor Moon on the front. Can you shut up? I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying so hard to be funny. It's embarrassing. Let Hella do his job. This is delicate. Not as delicate as my feelings. What type of build do you think you're going to go for? I think a nice person with cool clothes. Is this Yuri? Whoa, is this Yuri? Hello. Yeah, about that. Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I, I don't. don't. <laughs> oh. what we're after? Supervisor <laughs> Lynn and I, we're we're on a one-track mind, the two of us. Okay, now you're we, um, Relax. really two peas in a job. pod, actually. Come Supervisor on. Lynn and I go way back. Back when I regained consciousness in the middle of the cargo hold. Supervisor Lynn, you're not going to believe it. Lynn was right there. Getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Effed up. Where is Say it, fuck, Hella? it's fun. Through there, it's relaxing, it's cathartic. I'm going ahead. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm up. <laughs> Woo! Uh, still getting weird. Woo! What's this? Unknown? Do you see anything? Oh, Joy, I'm so sorry you joined right as it got like the most staticky it's ever gonna get. Most likely. Whee! Take the strange object. Hey, hold on. I gotta ask. I gotta ask for advice from Supervisor Lynn. She knows more about this place than I do. I was really excited, but I should really know my place, know my station, you know? Lynn! Okay, I'll go back up. I just got, I just got psychic blasted by Supervisor Lynn. She said, go back. She said, grab the device. What are you waiting for? Sorry, there was a bee. A space bee. What is this gonna do? Probably nothing important. Ah! I said not important, I didn't say not scary. Jeez. Why is my name Dusty? Well. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? 
New recruit for Argos Extractors. Ring any bells? Favorite drink any is expired Pepto Bismol. Oh baby, it's time. Okay. Uh, so the characters actually look uh, quite good. I'm really excited to edit this. Um, I think let's just like, okay, let's start with a preset. Whoa! <laughs> Buzz Lightyear? Holy shit, yeah, yeah. You are a Bethesda character. Everybody, everybody looks really, everybody's faces are really tall. Are you noticing that like I am? Everybody's working with a, like a cylinder here. Space does that, yeah. <laughs> Their brains are floating away. Where's where's the music? This this is so um I feel so quiet. I'm like it's like really awkward right now. Let's just start let's just start with this and then we can we can go from here. I want to get into like the more I want to get into the meat of it. You you have to sing it. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like singing it myself. Dude, this first of all, this character model actually looks really really good. Like am I insane? This is like on it. This is like leaps and bounds ahead of what you would see out of any other like previous Bethesda game. This is like some good shit. Um, I'm like really excited. It looks great. Um, okay, let's do like. Oh, far. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Here, guys. I I actually I know exactly the um. I know exactly the character creation music to play. You're gonna love this one. It's gonna be a jam. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody could eat that many apples. You don't? I could eat this many all by myself, and so could you, or you, or you. I could? But how? Oh. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Apples are the perfect treat. Mm. They're fun to carry, fun to eat. Okay. Ways to serve them? There's no limit. Let me tell you. Got a minute? Okay. Apples, red or green or golden? Uh-huh. Sort of like the one you're holding. Apple cobbler. Apple fritters. Okay. Apples carved look. to look like critters. I've got the juice and apples mine. <laughs> apple watch, that's apple time. I was born an apple lover. Bitch, I'm smooth like apple butter. <laughs> apple crisp and my oh my. Okay. Apple tarts and apple pie. pie. Apple butter. Apple jelly. Yeah. Apple strudel. In your belly. Look, apple chips, you talking apples got them. Big ass booty, that's an apple bottom. Apple pie, that's the appetizer. Double cup full of the apple cider. Apple <laughs> right out of jars. Sorry. Apple dumplings. Apple bars. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. It's time to rest. Uh -oh. Here's the way. I'm the best. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. For context, that's uh. <laughs> Yeah, no, that song's from My Little Pony. No, it's not. That's a that's a TikTok that Joy sent me. I don't know where it's originally from, but here I just linked it. <laughs> if you if you care to care to keep it on hand, um, I actually like laughed harder when it when it jumped into the second verse. I was laughing harder than I think I have laughed in probably like like months if not years, like, I mean, legitimately, like, actual physical tears streaming down my cheeks. It was, it's so good. So the joke, 
for more context since I didn't put it on screen. You can refine it? What is this? How? Refine. What? Whoa. What the- what does that mean? What is going- I have no- what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference? What's the- what's the difference between refining and just picking it normally? It's refined, okay. I- yeah, I guess so. Yeah, okay, the head shapes are not entirely doing it for me. I think- I think I'll- okay. I really don't like how there's no music here. I- I- I feel like it's a bug or something. I feel like there should be- like, there should totally be music here. It's like freaking me out. Am I the only one? Um, okay. Hair options. They gotta deliver because the hair options in like Skyrim and Fallout 4, like, not good. <laughs> not good. Wait, why am I doing hair color? Hold on. Okay. So far, so good. These definitely look better, at the very least. Um, all right. We're getting, we're getting very concerningly close to the end of this list. <laughs> and I'm, see I'm seeing all the, all the hits. <laughs> all the Bethesda hits. Okay, this one's pretty cute. Um, not like my style though. Oh boy. Hey. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Bethesda, please. Okay. Are you ser are you seriously going to like force me to go with this hairstyle again in another RPG? That's not bad. That's not bad. Dude. Okay. Well, hair hair options definitely a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Um but you know, when when is it not? <laughs> like when is it not? I th I think after oh my god, you can zoom in so far. This is kind of awesome. Uh, I think after Baldur's Gate 3, a lot of games have like a lot to a lot to make up in terms of the the hair options space personally um okay I'll, I'll go with this one not ideal i wish it was longer um i wish it was shaped a little differently but overall this is this is easily the one i like the best um yeah <laughs> yeah okay well i feel like i was gonna say why are all the hair options so like short but I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, maybe. It's a very, very, it's a very practical setting. So like, you know, um, I kind of understand the direction. Hmm. And yeah, and like from a from a game design standpoint, long hair is famously hard to work with. I'm like, I'm like gonna play some music. I'm, I'm not kidding. This is freaking me out. I know, I know exactly what to play. Okay. At least it seems like we can... Yeah, oh, we can do some shit with the color at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Um. Ooh! Gorgeous! Uh, wait. They kind of popped off with the color. Which is interesting. Wow, okay. Hey, not bad. Hey, not bad. I really like this one. Not to look like I have pronouns, but...
I'm either gonna go for that or this like very dark red. I gotta go the pink, I'm sorry. Hot pink, what are you, breakfast? No, but I'm always thinking about breakfast in one way or another. Okay, shape blends, that's pretty cool. Actually, I'm, I'm a little sad that they didn't keep the... Because, like, say what you will about Fallout 4, I feel like they were kind of onto something bringing over, like, the Sim-style, like, click-and-drag face option. I was kind of into that. And, and they still had the sliders if you preferred it, but... Wait, did they? I feel like they did. I could be wrong. Um, but, yeah. It, it, it's it's kind of sad that it's gone. I feel like that was a little bit of an overcorrection. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh! Oh, that's that's actually really cool. Okay, so you can take two eye shapes and you, you can blend them together. Shape blend, obviously. Um, Hey, pretty cool. I like that. So let's like... Pick a base here. I was kind of feeling two, I think. Yeah, I'm feeling two. Whoa. Oh my god, okay. Some of the... I, I keep, like, accidentally scrolling up and down trying to activate these... these settings. Okay, um... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I spaced out for a second. Wait, wait, someone just did someone just did an incredible bit that I have to follow up on. Someone just made an incredible joke. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Hey, that uh, that that Starfield stream edit is looking promising, right, guys? Okay. I think I might have to like move to keyboard for the rest of this because I'm like, the mouse interface is not hitting. Uh. Hey, here we go. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Eyebrows. Do you have to watch Breaking Bad to watch Saul? Yes. And if anybody else tells you otherwise, they're literally incorrect and they watched it wrong. Also, my answer to that is you don't even have to just watch Breaking Bad in order to watch Better Call Saul. You have to watch Breaking Bad. And I mean that like legally, morally, however you want to swing it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm feeling that one. Eyebrow color. Is there any other kind? <laughs> yes. Let's see. Oh, I like the the warm tone a little. That's pretty cute. Eyebrow color. None. I <laughs> just go green. I'm a real big proponent of going green in all aspects of my life. Shit, I can't I can't start that again. Oh, here we go. Here's the real Here's the real juice of it. Here's the real hullabaloo. Whoa. Ah. She feels so strongly. And you can really see it on her face. I don't know if you can see that, like, it's wrinkles. It's forehead wrinkles. That's a nice touch. I like that. Oh, I'm kind of feeling that. Yeah. It's wrinkles, penny snap cube. That is something that I said on stream. You can prove it, actually. If you wanted to clip that, you could send that to people. When you watch El Camino? After Breaking Bad, duh. Whoa! I really like that. That kind of... That kind of helps... Balance out some of the... Some of the... Flatness. That's like a nice shape. That's like a good head shape. Am I wrong? That's like a decent... It's like a nice... It's a nice shaped head. That's like a... That's a character design ass head, you know? That's a clone high ass. <laughs> She's not Mega Mind. She looks really, really normal. That's like a normal head shape, right? Yeah, she does look kind of Joan-esque with, with that forehead. Let's, do they have big noses? Hell yeah, they got big noses! Fuck yeah! Oh baby, they got it. Ha ha, yeah, we got it. Ha ha, yeah, we got it. Big noses. <laughs> they have like one, one like hooked nose. They got the noses. They got the noses. Uh, awesome. I love the noses. Have I ever told you that I'm a fan of fun and big and noses of all shapes and sizes. You probably know this about me. She does look like perpetually angry with this one. I wonder if we could like... I don't know if it's like the... She <laughs> yeah, it is. A lot of it is the wrinkles. You're right. Short, long. Oh, here we go. I wonder if some of it also has to do with the mouth. Like, if we change the mouth with that, like, here. It's like a little better. Yeah. Let's do, um, kind of like in this one. Here, let's act here. You know what? It's starting over. Thanks for, thanks, by the way, thanks for understanding 
the sheer amount of time we're about to spend in this character creator. I hope you understand it's quite literally a necessity. Especially because, like I said, not a full playthrough. This will be my my off-stream character as well. So I'm I'm taking my damn time. Okay, I just had to make sure I was recording. I had like a I had a fear moment in my heart and soul. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm liking it. What do you think, chat? We feeling it? <clears throat> okay. Ears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say we can't see. We can see one. I really don't care too much. Oh, I care a little. Who knew there was this much distinction? I kind of like that one. Yeah, that's cute. It's a good look. All right. Why are they auto-assigned earrings? I actually have no clue. Yeah, where where did those come into play? You know what? That might be that might be later down the list. I mean, look at how look at how not done, not even halfway done with this list we are. Look at this scroll wheel. Scroll bar, I mean. You see that? Could be further in. We don't know. There's probably like a piercing section. Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, synthetic glitch. Same hat. Same hat. You understand? Dude, the differences are so subtle, but they do go a long way. Me looking at two pictures that are the same picture. <laughs> like this one? Okay, back to mouth. overbite. This Starfield character has a massive underbite and a completely flat back of the head. <laughs> I hope you fucking die early, Jarvis! I'm so glad that we can have over by representation. We, I, I got any fellow overbite warriors in chat? We'll make it through together, overbite gang. Edit the Whoa! <laughs> this is this is the face I make when I'm like uh trying to trying to walk down the street and I see someone I don't know but we accidentally lock eyes for like just a second, but I don't want to seem like a weirdo. But it's already too late. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like the, the fake smile FF14 emote. Concrete. 
let's, let's get some slight grime in there. We're, we're not exactly a poster child of dental health, I think. We're in space. Who has time? It's... <laughs> Okay, I don't know why my brain thought this was the proper way to describe how this looks, but I'm going to use it anyway. It looks like her <laughs> cheeks and mouth are slowly filling with worms. <laughs> I'm sorry. Again, I don't know why that was... I don't know why that was it. I don't know why that was it. I can't explain it to you. Yeah, she has functional gills. How about it? My skin feels itchy now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about your skin. What if I... What if I said this? All of the worms are gone. Let it, please give me your review in the... In the Google reviews. We need those? I, I have never met anybody who ever... What's going on? You can edit the neck. How many worms would I need them? I'm not going to read this. I don't know why after everything I decided that would be a good idea to read. I'm not finishing it. I'm sorry. Stump 2023. Hashtag Stump 2023. Cool. Next. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that one. I'm sick of this weird music! Oh god, that just almost came. I almost just had a panic attack. I, I realized for a split second. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I realized like it just dawned on me how long I've been listening to the Me Channel music. I'm so It's like, 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 I'm not kidding. The, ex the experience of like, I just had an experience of like the past, like 30 minutes just dilated down to a single second where I like, I perceptually felt the entirety of the time I've been listening to this song in one moment and it scared the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have to find something else. Hold on. Oh my god, I don't know why that happened. <laughs> it was the wizard. No, I am not in the psychic prison, and I have never been. Oh, Sims Create a Sim is actually really, really good. Thank you, uh, Monarch, for that, for that idea. Let's do Sims... Are any of the Sims games, are any of them content ID on YouTube? Okay, this seems okay. I 
am not in the psychic prison. You're gonna make me mad. Oh yeah, here we go, jewelry. Nice, I like these, wait. Oh, is that it? Okay. I'll, I'll take the bangles. Wait, are those bangles? Is that what those are called? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like a jewelry person. I'm, I maybe want to be someday. Loops. Oh, oh my god. Wait, this music makes me so nostalgic. Bangles are are ri I like knew that. I knew that. Why was why was I thinking they were? I don't know. I just got out of the psychic prison. No, I didn't. You didn't hear that. This is way too loud. Oh, you can change the color. <gasps> Wait, that's so nice. Are we going purple? I like that. That sort of deep gold. I'm into that. Wait, well, now I kind of want to do... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. She's cute. Am I wrong? She's really cute so far. I need as many freckles as possible. Yeah, give me that, give me that freckles and rosacea look. Got some interesting, there's some interesting options here. Um, I'm not feeling. This one the most. No. No, I think it's this one. Is this the one I started with? Actually, I have no clue. Wait. Oh, that's it. That's the one. We can change the intensity. A sim. Complexion co Oh! Whoa! Okay. Oh, cool! Nice! This is some good, this is some good stuff. Me like. Yeah, here we go. the vibe that's the vibe complexion blemishes <gasps> yes yes wait <gasps> oh that's so cute really excited. That's so adorable. Wait. Okay. I love it. Wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wait. Okay. We have the direction. Whoa. They had some cool choices here. I love like that veiny look we just saw. Okay. I feel like it's got to be the one I, I screamed about. Usually that's a good sign. I love high energy streamer. Thank you. 
scars. Um, whoa! That's really intense for the first one on the list. Anyway. Let me know what- <laughs> Batman. You must understand. You'll never catch me in, sp in space. That's not what he sounds like. <laughs> Yo, jingle bells, and you're never gonna believe it. Batman does smell. These are so cool. Whoa. They get pretty crazy. I'm really into it. Okay. And yet, even further, facial forms. Cool! You- Oh my god! Laugh lines! Yes! Uh, thank you! Laugh lines? Laugh lines? <gasps> Laugh lines, yes please! Thank you so much! She loves to giggle. You're so right, Alexa. Whoa. Whoa! No chapstick anywhere in sight. Someone help this lady out. I feel her, though. Whoa! Old. This is so cool. That's These are actually, like, really good options. This is like easily the best character creator they've done, IMO. That's not super so- <laughs> Whoa! Why is that there? On the face? That's a cute- that's a cute tattoo, but on the face? Wouldn't be me, but like more power to you. I'm not even trying to judge. Wow. Cute. I'm not really a tattoo kind of- <gasps> Is this possible? That's so cute. Wait. <laughs> you were saying, yeah. No, I'll admit. I spoke way too soon. I don't know if that's really- I actually still don't know if that's the vibe. That's- that's like really pretty though. What is this one? Hello? Where are you? <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Somewhere you'll never find me. Don't do that. I do, I do quite like that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. She is such, um, she's such a Tumblr girl, you know? I'm really putting this together. And it's also, I think, revealing a lot about me in retrospect. That's okay. Wait. Wait. Good. That's all we need. Cheeks, <laughs> too! I'll, I'll leave it at that. She's based on you? I mean, she does have some of the, like... She does have some of my qualities. My Like, her nose is not as exaggerated as mine, but that's generally, like... Mine goes out a little farther, but you know, she's kind of got like the big nose. Um, her eyebrows actually look very similar to mine in terms of like their their overall shade. Um, obviously the hair is kind of similar. Sir Jeffrey Tree, thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate it. Um, I kind of modeled the whole like chin direction. Yeah. And then obviously the freckles and rosacea thing that like hits home because that's just me. 
Whisper, thank you for the tip. Oh, man. Also, yeah, for those just joining us recently, I am playing The Sims music because the, the character creator does not have built-in music, or at least we are not getting any. Maybe it's a glitch, but, um, you know. Whoa. <gasps> cute, cute, cute. What darker, darker. There we go. Hold on now. Ah, uh, the color's not hitting. Hold on. I might have to just, like, go to the same shade and then just do a lot more intense on that, maybe. Hmm. I kind of like that, that very obvious liner look, though. Yeah. My shadow upper. playing this um i have a computer device that i've installed the files on oh wait the game isn't like technically out um it's early access if you got one of if you pre-ordered one of the i actually i i forget if it was a pre-order bonus specifically or if you had to get or if you had to pre-order the one of the deluxe editions but I did the latter just to make sure I got it either way. Um, not gonna do eyeshadow lower. We're gonna keep it pretty subtle, I think, from here. Eyeliner, probably not. Well, maybe like, yeah, maybe something like, like full on black, but not like a not like a cat eye or anything. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. No, let's go with that. It's pretty cute. I kind of want this game now. You've only seen the character creator. Give it a chance to disappoint you. Oh, I love the grease. I love the grease. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling that. All right. I'm going to um I'm going to shut off the music. And we're going to we're going to we're going to reimmerse ourselves cuz now it's time to talk about our background. Oh man. Okay. I'm really excited for this one. Um now we get to choose our backgrounds and traits, our background and our traits, which hopefully are going to have um more of a a gameplay effect than I am used to from the previous Bethesda titles that I've, like, been into. Um, so let's see. Let's just scroll through, because there's a lot here. Um, I don't want to read all... A file not found? Oh, I guess this is just, like, a... Like a, like a blank slate. Okay. Um, beast hunter, bouncer, bounty hunter, chef, combat medic, cyber runner, diplomat, explorer... Gangster, homesteader, industrialist, uh, Mr. Pilgrim, sculptor, with your knowledge of anatomy and skilled steady hands. What? Okay, what's going to give me, like, the best, like, dialogue stats? Diplomat? But I don't want to be, like, eh. Uh, wars are over. Peace now reigns in subtle systems, but only because there are those quietly fighting to keep it, because of you, agreements are signed, blah, blah, blah. Um, not quite my vibe. 
I'm, yeah, I don't want to. I don't really want to be a politician. Uh, a sh wait, a chef makes you good at dueling. What's what's going on in those kitchens? The <laughs> yeah, wait, I might have to. I might have to watch Ratatouille at like 0.5 speed and really see if I can pick up on something I missed the first few times. Cause I don't know if I ever picked up that's wait. That one guy though, he killed a guy with his with his thumb. Hold on. Scavenging and gastronomy. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients, and there is almost no limit to the delicious foods and drinks a talented chef can prepare. That actually sounds kind of awesome. Wait. What if what if we tried to start like a like a restaurant, <laughs> like an outpost restaurant, and just because I've been getting into like I've I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen lately, and I've been getting into um being a culinarian and making a lot of food. Specifically, I've been making myself a lot of espressos, and um because uh, it's about to be soup tember, um like tomorrow, uh, I'm I'm gonna try and like make a shit ton of soup th in the next month. So I'm like. In honor of Soup Timber, maybe we could maybe we could go chef. That might be fun. And not a lot of other stuff is like jumping out to me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go chef. Okay, so gastronomy, dueling, and scavenging. Um considered by many to be a lost art, close attacks with a melee weapon can often be deadlier than a ranged combat when carried out by a skilled practitioner. In scavenging, there are those who can find just about anything, and their success is usually dependent on knowing how and where to look. This sounds right to me. This sounds right to me. Let's go, Chef. Um, and then traits are where more of the immediate gameplay benefits are going to come into place. Oh my god, she looks so good! <laughs> you see this? Look at the hair! She looks so good. Okay, alien DNA. That's really interesting. Because as we know so far, there are no known, like, sentient alien life forms. I mean, well, I guess, I don't know. Just sentient, sentient maybe doesn't include, like, like, there are creatures, right? Like, there's alien, like, wildlife. But there's no, like, humanoids or, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, no fuckable aliens. That's one way to put it. Um, okay, you volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As, as a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. That's super cool. Okay, dream home. You own a luxurious, customized house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Gal Bank that has to be paid weekly. That's hilarious. That's if we, yeah, that's if we want the Animal Crossing experience. Um, empath? Oh, do, so we want to be an asshole? <laughs> Sorry. You are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Uh, yeah, likely. Um, performing actions you can, you, your companion <laughs> likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Listen, I'm sorry. I have a I have I have an axe to grind with uh with self-proclaimed empaths. I have I have I have never met anyone who uh who goes out of their way to talk about how they are an empath that like is not like one of the worst people. I'm sorry. That's a whole nother conversation. But <laughs> says the life is strange, true colors enjoyer. Listen, Alex didn't choose those powers, okay? She was gifted them, and what she does with them proves her character more than any self designated strength and empathy ever could. Okay? Life is strange, true colors is a story of love and finding community in the midst of tragedy and ultimately yes it's about empathy but it's about learning empathy not not proclaiming it 
not wearing it like a badge of honor. Anyway, we're not an empath. Extrovert, you're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. Can't be combined with introvert. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, restart collective settler. Gain access to special Freestar Collective dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction, but crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Hold on, I did not process that. Uh, okay, so you get access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by that one faction. Oh, but if you fuck up, <laughs> then the other factions are gonna hate you a little bit more because you have like a reputation. Hero worshipped. Oh, right. This is the adoring fan one that they they kind of goofed about. And uh, the guy died. Um, or the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. This sounds fun for like an on my own time kind of playthrough. But right now for first impressions, I have chat with me. So I, I feel like we already got that experience. Um, introvert. You really need your alone time. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions. Can't be combined with extrovert. Less oxygen specifically is really funny. I, this might be one of the ones I do. Kid stuff. Your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at their home but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. That's fucking awesome. I'm actually very, very interested if there's like any kind of like storyline going on with the parents because you can go visit them and talk to them. But I wonder if it stops there. Like like at the at the two percent of credits thing and like you know getting to like go to them or if there's like more to it that you can kind of discover so i think i'm gonna do this one and just see neon street rat you grew up on the mean streets of neon <clears throat> you gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for some missions on neon crime bounty by other factions greatly increased that's cool so kind of like a, yeah, kind of like a streetwise trait. That's really cool. Um, I saw someone do this with an old character and it's so funny. Yeah, that sounds incredible. Raised enlightened. Yeah, no, that's like, that's like the, that sounds like one of the religious factions. Same with universal. Um, <clears throat> Serpents embrace. You grew up worshiping the great serpent. Grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly. <laughs> it can't be combined with any other religion trait. That's awesome. That's so funny. That's actually a really, really good trait. Uh, spaced. I, I mean, ag again, though, it's a religion trade. I'm not going to do it. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decrease when on the surface. Can't be combined with terra firma. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> Occasionally, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below 50. However, all, cr all crew costs twice as much to hire. Wow. Okay, well then what is... Oh, yeah, so terraform is the opposite. You never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when on the surface, but decrease when you're in space. I wonder... I wonder where health and oxygen... Because I guess, like, if you can, like, board other ships, maybe it mainly comes into play there. I wonder where oxygen specifically would come into play in space. Does that mean you're not always just doing stuff like... Oh, maybe, oh yeah, maybe oxygen is, is like stamina. 
right? Okay. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. But decrease when you're in space. I might do this one. Because I, 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 I feel like... I feel like I would want more stamina on the surface. I, I feel like I would want more health and stamina on the surface, even if it does kind of decrease it when I'm out and about in space. I This might be poor foresight, but I can't see it really coming into play as much in space, but maybe I'm incorrect about that. We'll see. Um... In access to specially united colonies dialogue options and better awards submissions given by the faction over crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased okay uh and then wanted someone put a price on your head and word has spread occasionally armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you but being cornered gives you an edge when your health is low you do extra damage this i like actually really kind of want to do this one this sounds really fun I kind of want to do this one. Wait. Okay, what if I take off Terra Firma and I do kid stuff, neon street rat, and wanted? Sort of sort of paints this picture of like maybe. Maybe, maybe my character had like, you know. Grew, like grew up with her parents but then was kind of like out on the street for a while um and like kind of worked up a reputation up to the point where she is now wanted and is uh constantly being <laughs> like sought after uh for uh in the interest of her demise and now she's just trying to make a better life for herself and get away from her past and like reconnect with her parents and become a chef um but things have not been working out because she's constantly trying to be killed. I kind of like that. We, we, we got a bit of a lore going on. Okay. Um, trying to be killed. You know what I'm, you know what I mean to say. All right. She's awesome. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. I really hope I don't regret that. <laughs> I really hope I don't regret the wanted trade. But like that sounds fun to me. That sounds really fun to me. It 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 could be like super annoying, but it also could be like really engaging. Uh let's finish. Okay. Her name is Ramona Ratatouille. Yes. Perfect. She she does have pronouns. You can choose between she, her, he, him, and they, them, which is pretty cool. Awesome. All right. Ramona Ratatouille. <laughs> Let's get into it. From Chef. Is this Dusty. gonna have to be a full playthrough? Fuck. You know, the <laughs> store has a betting pool about which restaurant. No promises, no promises. Probably not. Here. Most likely not. 99.999%. Well, Probably Client not. On his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Okay. Um It was uh there was this light and music. Have you ever played The Sims 3? Sonic kinda like that. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Oh. Okay. Is it caps lock to walk? It is. Okay, good. Mm, a mm. constellation contact is on approach. Mm. Press mouse through to switch between first and third person. Group? <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, we look so cool. Whoa, that's tab. Not a joke. 
You're just too young. Whoa. To know. <laughs> she really, she has, she has some pep in her step. Whoa. Half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring <laughs> space? Shit. Who does that anymore? Ain't Sorry, I'm barely listening. I apologize. Enough. Not to them, apparently. I gotta look around. Whoa. Is that a Vita? You don't look good. Hey. Agree to disagree, fucker. I mean, like, whoa, what is she doing? I mean, like, how, like, do you have eyes? Do you have eyes? What? So rude. Oh, I'm working. You, you disagree, right? Rain sure seems to like you. Guess she would know, being the boss and all. Yeah, but what do you think? Wow, this game, like, visually, like, actually really, really good. I'm, like, immersed, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm so immersed, Mary? I'm taking this cup. You need some coffee or something? Actually, yes. Got a packet around here somewhere. That's sparkling water. Wait, not a packet of coffee? Whatever it is. Can you chill out for a second? Oh, a deck of cards. Can I have that? I'm taking it. These are mine. I'm gonna need something to do on my spaceship that you'll never have. Hmm. You mentioned you a packet of coffee and now you got me, wait, inspection soon. Get it together, people. Reminder, clean your spacesuit after each use. Whoa. You fitting in okay? Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but. Ooh, hold close. on. I'm noticing some FSR uh, ghosting that is really bothering me. I'm like, like I've noticed it and now I can never unsee it. Uh, sorry, we're going to full 4K, baby. We're still only playing at 60, so hopefully that should be enough to give me some, some headroom here. Use your snap cube blast for what? Oh, you're spamming that. Hey, quit spamming that. <laughs> oh, can I? An iPad? You outdid yourself this year. They got the Apple Pencil and everything? Look, Apple chips, you talking apples, got them. Big ass booty, that's an apple bottom. <laughs> apple pies, call that. <laughs> Apple pies, that's that appetizer. Double cup All full right, of the Cassie. apple cider. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Just tap to open the data menu. Oh, cool. Okay. Tutorialized. Select the area in your lower right to access your inventory. Okay. Pretty cool. Ooh, I like this. And then unequipped helmets. Whoa, it's ugly. Yes! Uh, hide helmet in breathable areas. That's such a good option. Wait. I like that. I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Cool. Oh, it's so cool. That's pretty. It's so barren. I love it. It's got the atmosphere. Dude, they gotta they gotta let me loose, man. I'm still in the tutorial. And you see you see I'm like oh I'm walking around everywhere. I'm like I'm antsy. I can take this, right? <laughs> Wee! Oh, are you Barrett? Wait, you're not. Is your name? Yeah, Barrett, right. Hi, Barrett. I recognize this scene from the movie I watched about this game called Starfield Direct. Oh. Whoop! 
Whoa! <laughs> Space jump. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. That's me! <laughs> and everything Ooh. went... <laughs> the way she moves. Minerals on Hold on. Maybe it is controller time. And no, Barrett, not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Whoa. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that Whoa. Right? Went on a trip, huh? Um. Uh, I'm fine. Nothing to talk about. All right. A little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All this is spirit. So I'm trying to. Scanners on the frontier. Whoa. Reporting a ship coming in hot for orbit. The controls again. How do I play a Bethesda game again? No, that's okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hold off the hold off the pirates. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh, I remember. Wait, do I? What is I? How do I change my perspective in? How do I change my perspective in the in the fucking on a controller? Maybe R3? I tried R3. It didn't work. Guys, I said on a controller. <laughs> I switched to controller again to see. What? Okay, hold on. Okay, nope, sorry, sorry. I can't I'm switching back. I tried L3 and I tried holding down the stick and it, it didn't work. Okay. Wait. Oh shit, I'm not I'm not holding the right weapon. <laughs> One sec. I need to here. Let me uh let me put this on my favorites bar right here. And then this also on my favorites bar. Right here. Oh wait, oh these are assigned to numbers as well. So let me put this on like or let me put this on seven. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Whoa! Hey, can you chill out? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we got that Bethesda combat, baby. I see the health bar. What is going on? What am I looking at? Oh, did I inspect it? Oh, I transferred. I see the health bars and they are simply going down. Okay. Is there someone up there? I could have sworn there was someone up there. Hey. Nope. How do I... Wait, how do I... Findings? Melee goes on. Oh, melee is on V. No, 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 my friend. It's on zero now. Perfect. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. A little too zealous. I appreciate. I appreciate that that you feel that way. Can I like shoot your jetpack? Hey, let me around. Oh, wait. No, keep. <laughs> oh now med pack is pressing B. Can you make up your minds? I want I really want you to walk towards this thing. Come on, come on. Oh man. I really want your jetpack to explode. That would be awesome for me. Hey! Die. 
awesome. Okay. Are there more? Can you? Where are they? Y'all, y'all, they are so outnumbered right now. Oh, you're right there. You're the blue thing. Sex. Hi. Okay. Um, all right. Throw grenade is now on this button. Is Q map to anything? Open quick keys. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do open quick keys to this button. And then Q is going to be uh could be reload sheath weapon. It could be. What was I gonna have on Q? Hold on. Uh, actually, Q, Q maybe should stay on open quick keys, now that I think about it. Toggle always run. I'm gonna change that from caps lock to this button instead. And then sneak is going to be, uh, left control's fine. Strafe left, strafe right, okay. Well, that seems pretty good. All right, um, we'll, we'll play with that for a little bit. Okay, uh, let's loot. Transfer. Ooh! Mine, mine now. Fucked up that game, still use buttons? I know, right? You think we'd be past this by now? Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Wait, actually, that, that should, um, that should be priority for me because apparently I'm like really good in a duel, which means I should like, <laughs> I should try a lot of melee stuff and see how that works out for me. Rip shank. Uh, okay, so rip shank, you're gonna go on this side. Maelstrom, you're gonna go on up here. Okay, cool, I like that. All right, doesn't feel immediately the best. Whoa, that's kind of impressive. You did that while you were dying? Hey man, pirate assault spacesuit, fun. Wait, would, would that be, is it too soon? Would this be in poor taste? <laughs> Wait, actually, speaking of poor taste, this thing is ugly. Why am I even wearing this thing, man? I'll just take it off. I'm sure it's fine. I just need the helmet, right? Oh, flashlight. Figured out how to turn that on. Um, what is, uh... Okay, hold R to achieve... Hey! I killed them! Woo! The whole spirit was being followed every time. That was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. I told you it was nothing, man. <clears throat> uh, if you'll take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Nothing wrong with honest work. Although, I gotta see my parents. I miss uh, my yeah, dad's birthday. Yeah. See your point. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but she's not some minor anymore, Lynn. Yeah, I'm so over 18, so... Clock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. I can, like, do whatever it's I want. Deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. 
Um, no way, not my job. Thanks for everything, Lynn. Just I just want to get out of here. Before I say something, I regret. Well, now that that's settled, let's go. You can't, you can't no live your life in fear of regrets, okay? Necessary. You gotta okay. live your life learning from it. Protocol them. Indigo. Indigo. Okay. Asco. This guy's very a robot, well. if you can't tell. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. This thing. The the actual watch they made hey, for the like that. collector's edition looks so perfectly. sick. Okay, do we have questions? <laughs> uh, well, why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Give it, you're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. <gasps> Consider it alone. <gasps> Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Um, what exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. Yay! Constellation can find the answer with your help. Oh wait, oh sorry, I thought you meant I won a million credits. Okay, well, and Vasco, I'll learn the rest in ship. time, I assume. We're still in one piece. I thought you were a corpse. Oh, I was about to loot you, man. Don't you gotta stop go looking so dead. Get some pep in your step. Get up. You know, do a little dance. Do the bee's knees, if you dare. Hi, Vasco. Vasco, because you know you're a robot. It appears you are the new captain of the frontier. Yeah, we can recognize things about each other all day, but let's get on that ship. Whee! Whoop! Oh, here we go. <laughs> now this part, this part I'm very excited captain, about. I assume you know how to fly a class A starship. Of as course. Likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. Some personal slate. You know the drill, Vasco. Sorry, Vasco. I didn't know this would immediately pop up. No distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation. Even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Hi, Funkin! Hi! Welcome to Space Oblivion. I don't just mean dying in the cold vacuum. Case, Wait, we're gonna die? There's a vacuum? It's cold? I am having fun. We're, like, we're, um... We're still... We, like, just started. I spent so long... Uh, I thought the word dick was in there somewhere. Uh, I, sp I spent so long in the character creator. As you do. So, you know, we're still not really in, like, the, the meat and potatoes of everything, but I'm very excited. Okay, hold on. Bed. There, there's, this is that sandwich that that one lady was, was so crazy about. Okay. Ultimate test. Can we do this with the items? Yes! <laughs> Woo! I don't know why I picked up the plate, but... It's a freaking Bethesda game, baby! Oh man, doing this with models at such a weirdly like high fidelity is actually kind of crazy. And you can throw them! Hold on. Oh, please. Wait. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, Barrett, I'm sorry about your sandwich. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Um. Hey, sorry to throw a wrench into Steam plans. <laughs> Wait, oh shit. I meant to say stream plans. Wait, let me try again. Uh, Ellie, cut that last one out. 
Um, sorry to throw a wrench into your plan, boys. Jump seat. Well, you heard him. Are you scared? Jesus. Pilot seat. Oh, here we go. I'm actually, oh, I'm actually so hyped about this. <laughs> Let's go. spaceship within the first two hours of the game oh <laughs> cool wait and then can i yes <laughs> now that we are in orbit it might be uh. wise to test all controls and systems oh. to ensure <laughs> there it is catastrophic failure okay Break holy shit the entire process or if you're already an experienced pilot just power up all the systems and we'll be wow. on way Hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the graph drive. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, how do I, I need to figure out how to stop boosting. All right, a hold alt and, oh, and you can also use the arrow keys, I assume. Okay. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Okay. Increase or decrease ship speed. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better oh. handling during turns. Okay, and this is like no Draw power. Attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the oh. gauge so that oh, it lines I see. up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Oh. <laughs> cool! Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts <gasps> of speed. Sick! Oh my god! All <laughs> oh, power to the engines, yeah! Let's turn our attention All oh, power! <laughs> Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Oh, Not okay, it's too fast, it's too fast. Vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay. Power up all systems tutorial, learn to fly. All right, that's pretty simple. Let's put some back in. I don't even know what BAL stands for, ballistics? You've proven Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Because that's <laughs> ship its women to bear. Oh shit! Wait, wait, not now, not now. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh. Two into laser. One more into ballistics. All right, here we go. Here we go. Die! Fuck you! I put like nearly all my stuff into my weapons, idiot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I want to board them so badly. Please let me board you. Please let me board you. Boarding time? Can I, like, just crash into <laughs> That would not be a very smart idea, but I really want to try. I'm not going to try. That'd be awful. I don't know why anyone would do that. Do I have to like, okay, I guess, oh, okay. Lasers for shield, right, and then ballistics for everything else. They're too, they're too far away. Please, locking, locking, lock on. Here we go. There it is. Woo! Wait, ah, slow down, slow down. Surviving your first starship assault, Captain. 
wait, wait, come back, come back! Stop, okay. This is so cool. Fly close, let's eat a loot. Hello! Do you have any sandwiches I should take and study? E to loot. Aha! Nickel and uranium. Very cool. Anything else? Doesn't seem like much. Man, your ship stinks. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Where are you? Cycle between space targets with E. Okay, there's a lot going on here. You think you can get away. That's not true. Someone tried once and people don't talk about them. Uh, ah! Sorry, I just saw the enemy missiles locked on indicator. Very scary, very scary. Why can't I see your... Oh, right, that's what E is for. Okay, no missiles, please. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I keep getting so tempted to just like, to just ram into him, you know? I, I have like a serious problem. Not fully understanding the, the concept of consequences. Oh, I can shoot a, I can shoot a missile, I think, with G. Let's try that as soon as I can turn around. <laughs> oh God. Um, don't. Don't put your shield back, okay? That'd be really, really rude. God damn it, what did I just say? Gee. Fuck, it's not locked on. Lock on! Go, go. Stupid. They were basically already done, and they didn't even know it. Talk about lack of situational awareness. Are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local crimson fleet. Their molecule ship parts. Cool. Indicates an abandoned facility. Where's the other one? Oh, a perfect staging area for pirates. Pirates. On Crete? Sorry, I was like, I was actually kind of barely listening to what Vasco just said. Is this Crete? <gasps> That's Crete. Press tab to open the data menu. From there, you can open the star map. Could I just fly over there if I wanted? I mean, it would take fucking forever. So I'm not gonna. But it is curious. Okay, star map. Here we go. Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire star system. Zoom out again to see all the stars in the settled system. Plot a core by set, uh, by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once, so distant star systems may require you to jump to a closer star first. Okay. Argos Extractor Mining Outpost. That's where we just came from. Cool! <laughs> this is awesome! Spaceship debris. Interesting. Okay, back to system. Woo! And this is Crete. Got it. Traits unknown. Missions you can open with L. That's really cool. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. That's new. I'm I'm used to having like eight different uh markers in my like Skyrim compass, so that's pretty that's interesting. Um I actually kind of prefer that depending on just like how much there is going on and, and all that. Uh, I think I, I like the, I don't know. Uh, I think that could be pretty, a pretty nice change of pace. Um, select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives, select any objective. All right, pretty self-explanatory. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. That's pretty cool. Um, Travel to Crete. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. I was hoping they would have some kind of summary to like 
somewhat re-explain why I'm traveling to Crete. Something about pirates. Because we're, we're on our way to Constellation, right? Where are they? Probably on Samadhi, maybe? I don't know. This is so cool. Ah, this is such a great vibe. Oh, whoa. I didn't know this was that 3D. <laughs> I'm crazy, I'm crazy. I'm going insane. Whoa. The, the, the visual gravitational field indicator. I wonder if we could fly to the sun. Could try that at some point. We can do a sun run. Quick, quick sun speed run. Um, okay. So... Let's go here. We can set course for Crete. Yes, perfect. The pirate base is on Crete, and if you don't destroy it, you'll keep getting attacked. That makes sense. Thank you. I'm gonna keep getting attacked anyway. Also, I just got really, really nervous. One sec. Are my settings on? My mic settings, I mean. I saw a peak I'm not used to. They're on. Okay. Woo! I don't know why it was it was looking like my microphone settings were off. We okay. have arrived in orbit. No, you you would still hear me if my microphone settings are off. I don't think it's anything most people would even notice. Um, but there's no there's no concern anyway. Have to open the data menu. Yeah, I already know how to open the star map. I got it. Let's go. Um, all systems to all engines to all the systems to engines. I only really need that many on there. I really love that. I really love that. I might honestly, um, I might do this mainly with the arrow keys. Oh, wait. How? How long is this gonna take? It's not getting that much closer. You know what? We we probably should just just go ahead and land from the star map. Land a view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet uh, in your brain until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view. Select the map icon to land there. Okay, right. Okay, so this is the landing site system. Whoa. I love how I love how interactive this whole interface is. That's like really pleasing to me. I'm like actually so delighted at how much you can like drag it around and zoom in and man, that's really, really fun. Could we also just like pick a you can just okay, so you can just pick any any spot. Wow, they they were not kidding. Cool. All right, well, we'll just land here anyway for, for simplicity's sake, but now we know. I forgot my name was Ramona Ratatouille. God damn it. No, that is like... I'm not even mad from like a, oh, this is also going to be my off-stream playthrough character. That is, that is just something I would name like my RPG character anyway. I literally named my Persona 5 character, um, uh, Ravioli Rigatoni. <laughs> so, uh, so we can either get up or exit ship from here. So we could get up and stick around in the ship or we could just get right out, which is super, super cool. It's just all the little things, you know, just a little nice little added experience look apple chips you talking apples got them big ass booty that's an apple bottom apple pies call that the apple tizers double cup full of the apple cider hi Vasco Captain protocol indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge 
with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Um, why is this Crimson Fleet captain after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by <laughs> continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Um, sounds good. I'm, you know, I'm just asking because, like, I'm trying my best to really... I, I already got people on my ass, so, like... You know, not really the best vibe having to deal with someone else's baggage in that regard. Uh, I should ditch this ship, I think, as soon as possible. Because, uh, like, you know. Who wants the headache? Man, I, let me tell you. Would not, would not wear this. <laughs> but if I didn't have to. Wait, this seems, okay, they, seems like this place is breathable, given that the helmet isn't there. I wonder if I can just, like... Can I just like take this off? You can. I'm I'm covered in pipes. I also probably have like zero armor if I do that. I really hope we can find some more fashionable spacesuits if that's a thing. I know it's not really within the game's general aesthetic, but Oh, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. What is that? So that's some damn, that's some landmarks. Is there like a, is there an on-planet map? Yes, perfect. Oh, that is something. Could I like, can I pin that at all? Place to remove custom destination. Awesome. Yes, perfect. Wait, so you get one custom destination, much like Skyrim. Let's replace that. We'll put that right there. I wonder if that also shows on my compass. Is that... I think so? Is that that little square? I want to say hello, friend. Okay. I think the spacesuit have the same option as the helmet to hide it. Hold up now. Hey, you're absolutely right. Oh, hey, good, good, good shout out. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know that. Oh, oh, it hides it in settlements. Oh, that makes sense. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Too, too high. The gravity is too low. Damn. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Man, the the animation is very spirited. Whoa! <laughs> okay, hold on. You uh, you chasing? Press. I have to bring up the scanner. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Complete survey data can completed survey data can be sold for credits. Scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. Sounds good to me. Iron. Okay. I legitimately, I'm, I'm so like enamored right now. Like I'm fucking excited to be playing this. Guys, guys, I've been looking forward to this game for years, man. And th this is exactly the vibe. This is exactly the vibe. Like this is, I'm telling you, man, this is really promising. Okay. I just wanted to be on a little space adventure, you know? I don't need too much, man. I don't need too much. Oh, wait. Oh, the scanner shows like like a pathway to your objective. That's cool. That's a cool way to do it. I really like how minimalistic the UI is too, so far. 
Um, it's not super overwhelming. Uh, it feels very... I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm into it. I like a lot of the... I like a lot of the design philosophy here. Is there a way to change the UI color? I don't immediately... I wouldn't guess, but that'd be... I mean, hey, you know, be on the lookout for mods. Because lest we forget, this, this people are going to mod the shit out of this game. Bethesda games have modding communities like no other. Oh, I didn't even need a custom destination. It just shows this unknown thing on my on my thing. Okay, we can hit up that place after we're done here. I want to say. You can do it in Fallout, so maybe. I mean, let's let's check. Why not? Interface. Nope. You can change the opacity if that if that uh you know does your heart good. Yeah. No. No color options. They're going very uh very functional with the UI vibes. Whoa. God, the gravity on here is throwing me off. Free research lab. Okay. Let's, um, we don't, we don't have to go in guns blazing. Uh, we can go in knives blazing. <laughs> Hi, Joy! ...is a confederation of smaller independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Sorry, Vasco, you have to understand, I gotta, I gotta practice my carrot chopping muscle memory every so often. Gotta make sure I still have it, you know? It's been a while since I've been in the kitchen, you know, being on the mine and all that. Don't even know how I got there, but, uh, it is what it is. Oop. Tortoise guy, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. All right, we should... On the lookout? God, they said there's so much stuff! Todd was not kidding when he was talking about, like, these games just fucking love having stuff everywhere. They put so much garbage in a room. A screwdriver? Hey. Sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry to screw up the vibes. Mark of pliers. Alright guys, it's time to be a stealth archer. <laughs> you ready? Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Hey Vasco, does this hurt? Can you tell that there's a bright light in your face? Hey! How am I doing? Did I blow my cover? For coffee? For pleasure. For leisure. They have books! Yes! Where's Brian? Where's Brian David Gilbert? Get him on the horn. Desktop, desktop sand garden. I mean, like the the, the <laughs> you mean like the the ant hill that's been forming in my PC tower since I haven't cleaned it since I since I bought it. That's a joke, by the way. That's not actually happening. Oh my god, I would never I would never enter this room again. Penny, wouldn't you rather just take care of the problem rather than avoid it? Who the fuck do you think I am? Don't talk to me anymore. You're. <laughs> Hello, heat leech.
cooler. Did I scan you already? Please let me scan you. I guess you're not scannable. Um, well, you're not immediately killing me, so I, I think I'm gonna let you let you be. You have tox you have toxins next to you. Oh no! Unless that's your favorite beverage. You're actually really cool. Look at this guy. Hold on. Hold on. Can we like? Can we take a second? Just like. Well, now I can't see him. One sec. I can't see him. Also, yeah, I, I love the the photo mode at launch. You believe me though. You believe me that this guy is sick. Just get a close look at him. He's really cool. He's not he's not he's not bothering anybody. If he immediately started attacking, that'd be one thing. He's not bothering anybody. He's a little fucking snake. He's just hanging out. He's got a scary face, but who doesn't, honestly? To someone, right? I don't know why I took that. <laughs> I really wanted a screwdriver. Notepad. I'm gonna have so much garbage. Okay. Molecule extractor. Hey, Vasco. Can we get back on the ship? I got something to show you. Don't, don't just make sure your molecules are ready. Okay. Don't, don't hide your molecules. Why? Oh, you'll see. Genetic sample bottle. Hey, this place seems really above board. Just, just a general vibe check. An initial sort of like read of the, of the vibes here. Is that a cred stick? Whoa, I got 200 money for that. For stealing. <laughs> you can get, it turns out in the Starfield universe, you can get paid for stealing. Okay, phone cup. Picking up copious amounts of sci-fi trash to give me flashbacks to, to Prey 2017. Isn't it great? So far, this is everything I want. Ratchet? Hey, sorry to ratchet and clank the video game. Was that? He was weird. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Credits. Hey, you got money. Metabolic agent. You're. <laughs> hey, what's a metabolic agent? What kind of agent were you? Tall grade rheostat. What the fuck is that? Uncommon manufactured component. This item can be used as a component in crafting. All I know about it is that it's a component. History of Xenobiology. Mine. Mine. I'm taking all your books. I'm here for knowledge. Hey, you don't need these, right? Notice memory of it, baby game. Yeah, I think that in and of itself kind of brought this down a, a, a letter grade. Hydraulic clamp. Well, <laughs> hydraulic clamp.
Sun sound like sound kind of like Tom Kenny. Am I crazy? Got a beer! I got a beer! Finally, the man cave is a reality. Oh my God, Sarah, we've been working for so long. Here, I'll ch here. I'm a chef. I have experience. I'll try to. I'll try to pose as the, the resident caterer. <laughs> Come in with an empty food tray. How do I how do I rotate this again? Oh, here we go. Wait. How do I rotate it the other way? Prepare for combat. Anybody want a sandwich? <laughs> they didn't want a sandwich, Vasco. Go, go, go! They couldn't, they couldn't figure out my vibes. They were like, actually, a sandwich sounds great. Wait, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Rescue axe. I'll take it. In combat, there it seems the enemy has vanished. Yeah, if you're an NPC. <laughs> be wise to search the enemy's remains for valuables. I'm really sad they didn't want sandwiches because I actually could fuck up a sandwich right now. Can you imagine if we got through this with no violence and we just like, you know, shared a little bit of like a, just like shared a little Reuben together or maybe a club, you know, turkey club, some ham and mayo and all that, you know, like a red harvest double malt whiskey. You were holding out on me? Chunks Choco, a Grendel. What the shit is a Grendel? Oh! That's a Grendel. What the hell? The freaking Grendel. I'll take it. It's a weird that's a weird dog, that Grendel. Oh, I like the sound of that Grendel. Boom, pop, drink your dreams, orange. Boom, pop, sound of my heart. The drink is orange, 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 orange. I'll take one. Bosco, did you, did you steal my drink without looking? Bosco, my drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? How am I supposed to adventure in space without my drink? While I am programmed for I will keep did you your take my fucking drink? Safe, Vasco, did you take my did you take my beverage? Where is my drink? Oh, do I just have it? <laughs> Ew! It looks like a IV. This is my favorite one. Guys, guys, I know this didn't work the first time, but our God is a God of second chances. And maybe, just maybe, <laughs> the Crimson Fleet are too. A breakfast burrito? <laughs> Jesus! Okay, you don't want a sandwich. You don't want a burrito. What? What could I do to make this up to you? Okay, is it my vibes? Is it my vibes? If it's my vibes, I'll change. I'll change for anyone. I have no personal integrity. I promise. Yeah, 
He dead? Are you down? <laughs> His ass exploded! <laughs> that was awesome! Wait. Okay, V for med pack. Oh, that's what I wanted to put on Q before. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> it's like, wait, okay. I'm actually, I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna do toggle always run back to caps lock. Um, open quick keys is going to be on this one. And then, what is the, oh, quick key. Oh, it's because it's on a quick key that's currently bound to V. So we can bind that to Q, sure. Perfect. Okay, gotta remember that. <clears throat> Violence significantly decreases one's life expectancy. Fall back and take a remember. So, oh, you're right there. You were hiding so well behind that lamp. I couldn't even see you. Okay. <laughs> Man, their their butts are really sensitive. I guess I don't know. They're also very uh, combustible. Is that is that the experiments they've been doing? Combustible. <laughs> Wait, never mind. <laughs> Come and mop up, voice. We're done here. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. Anyway, one for the road. Hey, what was that? What was that suit I just got? I got something funny. <gasps> Whoa, that's actually pretty cute. I like this one. Oh, this one has a jacket tied to the waist. That is so. That's so uh, schoolgirl core. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, let's see. What else do we get? Ooh, an axe might actually go hard in the second melee slot. I wonder, is it showing my spacey right now? No, oh, oh, cause cause we're not in a settlement, right? Actually, I don't mind. I don't mind the spacey right now. I do hope we get some like maybe just like some some less bulky. I I get it's like you know. Supposed to be kind of grounded in terms of the like technology style and the the fashion and everything But like, you know at the end of the day, I can't help wanting what I want and also, you know if push comes to shove There's always mods I had to try I just wanted to be, I just wanted to know the limits of the environmental interaction. Salient fiber. I'll take all these, honestly. These are probably going to be great for when I get a, get a settlement going. So far, um, this, this, this whole space pirate base thing is very, uh, you know, level with, like, expectation as to, like, the Bethesda gameplay loop. 
very much like not a whole lot here other than just walk in and bam 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 uh which i don't i don't mind it's it's definitely it's definitely a little a little deflating after playing a lot of bg3 and having so much like so many dynamic ways you can interact with a scenario but this is literally just the first like the first dungeon you know i'm absolutely not holding that against this game right now it's just a different headspace to get myself into i think is what i'm trying to say i do not feel pain You just leave it at that. I do not feel pain. Hey, cool, Vasco. They're they're very much they're going down like it's nothing. Okay. I do not feel pain. Me when I'm lying. Maelstrom, okay. Chunks cake. I'll take some chunks cake. Microscope, notepad. All right, we gotta, I gotta get to the end of this one. I'll do something else. I wanna explore more. Let me. But like, I can't resist like scouring every nook and cranny in the same vein, you know? You understand, you understand. This, this is how you play this game. Vacuum tape. The floors of the ship do need to be cleaned. I don't exactly know how a tape could... <laughs> just, I'm not, there's, there's no joke there. It's just word association. You're out of half and half? Fuck this, wait. Wait a second, hold on. Change of subject. You see the way that bounced? That's awesome! Boing. Wait. Boing. Game of the year. Right here. Hell yes. I love that. <laughs> yeah, game of the fucking century. You got more boom pop? Weird. You know that stuff isn't healthy. <laughs> oh shit! I thought I was gonna like... I thought I was gonna flash bang myself. Oh, it's oh, it's the lock picking mini game. Hey, it's the lock picking mini game. <clears throat> I was like so scared for a second. Fill in all open slots and uh, fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key, rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Hold on, I need more M&Ms. Each key can only be used once. All right. This is like a Spider-Man puzzle. Whoa. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, this is, this is a pretty good one. This one's kind of cool. I like that. That's cute. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. Doctor Win Emergency Slate One. I thought this was like a phone holder. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Charming way to end your fucking emergency <laughs> log. <laughs> 
Hey, say what you will about Hayden Wynn. He's a spirited personality. Um, I hope they're not talking about that snake thing we, we let roam free <laughs> at the beginning of the dungeon. I am taking the sphere toy. Um, all right. Whoa! Ah, cool! Whoa! I like this interface. This is so cute. Here, more specimen. Um, Aiden Wynn, senior xenobiologist. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists geologists made first contact nearly 100 years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. Apparently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the, astro that the astrogeologists found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it, uh, oxy... Oxizio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once of the eight person squad, only two of the grunts survived and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. Today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creatures, any indication our sedation window will be around 15 minutes, we better make them count. Holy moly. So, yet again, messing with- it seems like, you know, messing with shit you shouldn't be messing with for the sake of warfare. Narrator voice, they did not, yeah. Was that an actual helmet? I can- oh, it's the same one I have. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one more for sure. What?! Oh, oh, is that just because it has, like, lower... Interesting. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided Let's you go. had some digi-picks <gasps> and a disregard for personal property rights. Bosco, you fucking idiot. None of this place is safe. Wait. Oh, the safe is right there. Hi, Heat Leech. I'm gonna open up the safe if that's okay. Okay, so we have this one with the two of them. One with the three of them. One with the three of them, and the last one with the two of them. Let's try... Oh, I can't. Okay, let's do that one. Oh, shit. Wait, oh, this is so weird. Oh! Oh, you can do them out of order! Okay, that makes it so much clearer. Wait. Oh, got it. Yeah! I see. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Pretty straightforward. Hee hee! Modified Kraken. I thought this is modified Karen for a second. Red Rover, come over! Yo, these heat leeches are like actually bros. I'm so, I'm so pleased about these heat leeches. I hope you have a fantastic day. To the roof! They just like the warm? Well, I just like the warm, you know, like warm. Analyzer's deep space mining, deep mining space helmet, epic. Yo! Um, well, if it's epic, I can't not put it on! I wanted to pick it up and throw it off the roof. <laughs> I was really hoping I could do that. Here. Should 
sure they don't see me. You Damn it! You kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Oh. An opportunity. What's your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Uh... I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation yeah, you need to stop. Hidden in the that's so base, that's so mean. From a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated <laughs> food particles, and a variety of species of ant. Hey, just like my PC I don't tower. Care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say? We're taking that ship. Ooh. <laughs> I suppose we can just agree to disagree. Um, let's try to persuade. Why not? There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. Yeah, I figured. Oh, wait. Persuasion minigame, maybe? To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. <gasps> Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. <gasps> Whoa! Cool! Wait, okay. So... Neither of us wants to risk the worst happening. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. Let's try that one. You're willing to give up the ship? <laughs> Just like that? Oh. Hold on. Just take a moment and count how much you've already lost. You don't want to lose more. I'm getting that ship. Damn it. Stop trying to confuse me. Oh, okay. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. Don't give me Damn that. it! I know that ship is stocked with loot. Oh man. I've heard enough out of you. Fuck. Kill them! How did that first one work so well? Wait! Wait! Before you kill me! Fuck this helmet. <laughs> yeah, that, that Persuade minigame is super fun. I cannot wait to try that some more. Woo! Oh, okay, I see how that works. So he has like three health bars, technically. And they go down when you uh, get rid of that main one, one time. Yeah, you think? Jesus, okay, they're really, they're really going for it right now. We have like a grenade. We don't have any grenades, do we? Any grenades? Nothing, anything, ammo, nothing. All right. Hey, bro, I just noticed your name is Bro again. Hey, who named you that? Your fucking mom? Hold on. I gotta, I gotta climb the tower to drink a little bit. Drink some heal juice.
You probably don't like a water cooler or a water pitcher being dropped on your head. No! My leg is broken! Vasco, save me! Oh. <laughs> Jojo, hi! Hello! I'm a, I am having fun. We're playing Starfield, Jojo. Oh! Grendel? I, I keep thinking Grendel is like a weird way of saying grenade. Like a weird, stupid space way of saying grenade. They would say Grendel in space when talking about grenades, but instead they're talking about a weird fucking gun. And like, I have plenty! Look at how many fucking guns I have. What about a rescue axe? I am really good in a duel, they told me. We just got started. <laughs> the stream's not even three hours in. Oh, this guy's weak to axe. So. Uh, all right. Just take all of that while we're at it. We'll take a look at it later. This is not the most intriguing combat encounter. Whoa. What is, oh. Oh, it's CO. I'm not even paying attention to my CO2. I gotta walk for a second. Hey, guys, can you just like come back over here and let me? Okay. Yeah, do your thing. Vasco, how did you get up there? Yeah, maybe get out of the way. Oh, I understand. <laughs> He likes to be tall. Vasco chose the most like visible vantage point in this entire arena. And is like, oh shit, they could see me. Yeah, you think so? He likes to be tall? Yeah, me too, but there's a time and a place to be tall. You know, like standing in the middle of target, reaching for the top shelf, that's a time to be tall. In the middle of a firefight? I'm sorry, I'm I'm mouse core. This is not working. Bosco. Um, I have joint pain, but I'm a hero, so. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I didn't know it was that high up. Shit. I'm a hero. Where's my adoring fans now? Oh yeah, I guess I guess you could say. I'm trapped. No, not that one. God damn it! I always forget which one it is. I'm. I am the mouse. That's what I'm trying to. Hey, can you chill out for a second. I have joint pain. Okay, this is like really inconsiderate. I am the. I. I am. I am. The, I'm trapped. Where's the other guy? You, they went so, they went so out here. Oh my God. Hey, did you just decide to like go on a walk? <laughs> like, are you just like, yeah, you know, I, this is all just like a lot of stress. I really, uh, I, I could do it some decompression time, really see the sights. Wait, oh, this might be my ship actually. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bosco. Can we get out of here, buddy? No, I need to... Wait, did I take care of the... What, you, what even is my mission right now? Ella! Oh, yeah. Oh, I killed their captain. Haha. <laughs> you don't have a leader. You're gonna have to pick a new one through, uh... Democratic means. I don't have any ammo. Me too. Watch this. <laughs> go, go, go! In the ass, go! Can I drag your body? I can drag their bodies! And it's low gravity too, so that's awesome. Woo! Oh, hold on. Dude, <laughs> Bethesda games go so hard. Wee! Oh, hold on. Take all your stuff, and then... Whee! You didn't go very far. That's okay, though. Wait, can I, like... Can 
Can I still explode like your your jetpack? No. Stop, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry, man. Let's uh what is flashing? That's God. He's saying, hey, 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 no, no, put him down, put him down. And I'm like, but God. And he's like, no, eh, eh. Penny. There you go. Let's get out of here. Where's my jetpack? You know, I really want to know where those other motherfuckers flew away to. Hello. Hi there, Mr. Trilobite. I hope you don't try low bite. <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? Ugh. Let's get out of here, Vasco. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Bosco, I don't know if we can jump that far. <laughs> Bosco, I have joint pain. <laughs> Did you not see my UI? Oh no. Fast travel directly from the missions menu. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, here it is, got it. Yeah, I just broke my leg. Set course. Press R to automatically plot a course to your... Plot, plot a course to your next objective. Jemison and the holograms? Whoa. Dude, Nova Galactic has like the shittiest merch of all time. It doesn't shatter. Oh man. I was really hoping. Chunks Apple. <laughs> there's so there's so much Apple stuff on here on the ship. And it's like it's 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 making me want to do that song again. That's like a real problem. I do not feel pain. All right, let's go, let's go. I'm not gonna fast travel directly from the missions menu. Thank you for the offer though. Let's see. I, I really like this ship camera. I'm a big fan of this part. I don't know why. It's just, it's so simple, but it's like, <gasps> Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, I forgot. Sorry, can I just apologize to everyone who has had to deal with the amount of times that I've like openly screamed in the middle of this first uh, section? We were supposed to go over there. Oh, we can just land there though. That actually would probably be overall quicker. Never be sorry, oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that into uh, the rest of my life, too. And that's your fault. Synapse Alpha? What? Where's my flashlight? Hello? Flashlight. Hello? Was that a helmet thing? Oh, speaking of, let's actually take a look at some of the stuff we got. Chameleon Deep Core! Deep Core. Whoa. Hold on. Eric Sniper. Oh, wait. Uh, that's the, the, the coattails in the back. It's kind of styling. I'm kind of into that. It's got like, well, it's got mostly better stats. It's down on thermal, it's, and it's not as corrosive, which you ne you always want a really corrosive spacesuit. I know this one is like technically better stats wise, but like who gives a shit, you know? Why even play a game if you can't be cute? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I just like agreed with myself on mic. That's not what I meant to do. I was more just like trying to reaffirm my previous thought, but it's, it just sounded like I was like, <laughs> Yeah, you go. Hmm, that's right. Okay. How can she see? <laughs> Clearly, there's no spot of visibility. 
Um, I hate this other helmet. I hate it, and I hate it. Okay, let's see. Hold on. How are the vibes? Oh, the vibes are pretty good, actually. Yo, Vibio Jeans, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. How's the game going? I'm liking it a lot so far. Oh, yeah. Wait. It's kind of steampunk in a fun way. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay, hold on. <laughs> She's got kind of the power slide. <laughs> None of these helmets are terribly cash money, but I get you with some really cool ones event. Yeah, no, I'm I'm hoping. The the fashion the fashion in this game is not something I'm particularly like holding out on. Um, but I basically the bar is so low for me based on what I've seen so far that any any style is really gonna surprise me. But I'm enjoying everything else. But also, uh for the for the road. freaking ship and go to this freaking outpost or whatever it is. I don't actually know what it is. Thank you for all the shanties. Oh, it's been a while since I did like a dedicated shanty bit and just saw all of the shanty emotes in chat. That's such a good vibe. It's getting so dark. Come back. The sun, come back. That's uh, that's the balloon kids from Spider-Man 2, the video game. Okay. Oh, actually, I can probably just do this straight from the star map, now that I think about it. Where was that other one? Oh, whoa, whoa, weird. One sec. M? No, service map, that's what I wanted. Yes. Uh, wait, are you, I already have a custom destination there. Is it not gonna let me replace? No? Right here? I've not discovered this location yet. Can I not? Okay, how far is it up north? Just a little bit north? My ship is right here. So let's just go like up a little bit. <laughs> like just up uh, about seven yoms. That's volcanic. Well, it's kind of volcanic everywhere. Let's just assume this is the right spot. Wait. Yes. How about like right here? Show me. Set landing target. Wait. Clear route? No. No. What am I doing? Travel. X button. Right. Sorry. It was sitting right there. My bad. I keep forgetting my name is Ramona Ratatouille. Fuck. <laughs> it keeps cracking me up every time I hit a loading screen. How close are we? Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, damn it. We just missed it. <laughs> Further. Further. Wait. We have to we have to set a course ahead. We have to be more courageous. We have to be bolder. Landing target this way. Travel. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, in universe, the experience of, like, flying your ship this short of a distance, just trying to, like, like, as, like, whoa! No way the vibes are that amazing immediately. Wow. Okay, they really nailed this from like a visual perspective, I will say. How'd we do? How'd we do, Captain? Oh my god, there's no way. There's no way. Something something must be wrong. Hold on. I'm getting out. We'll just we'll just where where am I where am I headed? We'll get the hang of it. We'll just run there. A Crete grazer. <laughs> we're we're definitely closer. 
If we can say one thing for certain, it's that we're closer than we were before. Okay, it won't take that long to get there. Come on, Vasco. Wahoo! Come with me. You're so cool. All right, let's go. Think this is a different area? No, this is definitely the same place. See, cause, oh, wait. Well, you know. Live and learn. I don't actually, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time parsing whether this is the same area or not, but I'm not gonna stress about it. Dust root 13% scanned. Oh, do I have to scan the whole thing? Like this? No? Do I have to just find more? Yes, perfect. Resource fiber. Oh, we'll need that. We'll need that as a as a chef. We'll need to have plenty of uh, fibrous materials on hand to add to our dishes so that people are getting plenty of fiber. Hey, who left their toxin on the on the fucking disjointed stairs? Oh, was it Greg again? Classic Greg move. Um, num, 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 num. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vasco, Vasco. Come here, come here. Let me, let me share something with you. Come here, Vasco. Vasco, hold on. Vasco, wait. Vasco? Can I talk to you for a sec? <laughs> he can't look me in the eye. There we go. Vasco. Between... Between a gal and a robot. I have joint pain. And... I'm like 12,000% 12, 12, faster than you are. I'm just asking you to pick up the pace a little bit. We gotta get over there do whatever the hell is up there there's a lot as you can see that's a pretty interesting looking area you think and we gotta like then we gotta get back and like do all this other shit <laughs> oh good night jojo i'll talk to you soon thank you for dropping by this is so nice to see you okay Yeah, I'm actually really interested in what this is. I really hope it's not just like, oh, that is a ship. Spacer. Like of, of Spacer's choice. Whoa. Stream heat gas vent. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let's not get too close to those. Can we now, could we nap this ship? It's probably not super possible. What is what is quick save usually? F5? Here we go. We got the quick save, baby. Hell yeah. Will you stream this for 24 hours, please and thanks? Like, realistically, no, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even close to done. I'm not even close. So, you know. Suffice to say, uh, Ellie is getting- Oh, yeah, you're, you're totally right. They are level eight! What? You did not see me from there. <laughs> Wallace health compromised. <laughs> Let me up. Woo! No! What do I need? What do I need? I knew it. I probably should have assumed it wouldn't be that easy. No, I just said I'm not close to done. Maybe listen? Wow, nice jump, Vasco. I want your ship. Okay, I'll leave, I'll leave. Yeah, they remember to lock the ship, darn. Just kidding. 
Turn out ammo. <laughs> You're in a very compromised position right now. Oh, I'm so sorry about what just happened. It's axe time. I cannot believe I have not died yet. Holy shit. Got more Grendels, huh? All right. Two boosted deep core pack. I love, I love the term deep core. Deep core, deep core, deep core, deep core. What is this? Jetpack? Jetpack? Boost pack? Damn. I don't immediately know how to use those. Hey, for being level eight, they're not exactly uh, really holding their weight out here. Maybe it's just because I'm playing on Kiwi and Mouse. How are you alive? Your stomach is in concrete and metal. Couldn't be me. Read the secret outpost slate. What? Mission Mantis. Oh no, all oh, my CO2. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. That just turned the tides of battle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm like, I'm... Okay, I gotta chill out for a second. I'm bleeding hit points here because I'm exerting myself too much. What, why is my, why is my O2 levels... Why are they not coming back? Do I need, do I need a second? Oh my god. Is it because I'm in... Wait. Do I have to, like, switch to walk mode? Over encumbered, I think? You're scaring, like... Oh, I'm carrying too much! Oh my god. Wait, is that what's been going wrong this whole time? Oh, you're totally right! Oh, shit. I didn't even think about that. Hey, good looking out, but also, let's get rid of some of this shit. Let's put on the deep core suit for a second and we can we can drop two of these. Get rid of the deep mining suit. Um, Star Roamer is an interesting vibe. I actually wonder, wait, is this is this a pre-order bonus or something? I like I should have some bonuses, but I don't actually know when I'm going to get those. We'll see. Um, okay. Well, that just, that just put us, technically saying that put us over the, the edge is not exactly what I mean. Rare pistol. Oh, so we can drop the Eon, probably, and add this. I'm not, I'm not going to play <laughs> favorites, I say, as I'm adding it to my favorites. I'm not going to go crazy playing favorites on weapons, because, you know, this is a long game. We'll have plenty of time to experiment and get what we want. I'm sure crafting is going to be a real big boon for that kind of thing. Um... Yeah, okay, good. All right, that should help. Whoa, did I just turn invisible? What is going on? Okay. Ah! I'm missing the required ammo! Fuck. Uh, shit. All right, back to the Grendel. <laughs> and where did that bring you? Back to me. Jesus! Uh, oh, two can play at that game. <laughs> hey, put her there. Oh man, you left me hanging. <laughs> okay, well at least we have the quick save. At least we get the toaster. Fuck you and your toaster, you old bitch. That's what he said. That scene was so... That scene from Spider-Man 2 was so weird, man. It was just so out of the blue. Why did Joel McHale say that? 
All right, let's get back. You know what? Let's, um, where are we headed? One small step. Grab jump to Jemison. Where's Jemison? Mani, Dipala, Star Station. Grimsy, dude, these are made up. <laughs> these aren't real. Crete, Ancelon, Vectera, Nera, Magrath, Hyperia. Where's Jemison? Oh, is that maybe out? Oh, oh, we're gr oh, we're grav jumping. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, we okay. So we have to set course to the wolf first. What is this? Designation wolf level five. Or we could go to Barnard Star. What is going? This is crazy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's uh, show me Wolf. What is? What's going on with Wolf? No, that's not what I. That's not what I wanted, man. You know what I wanted? I want to see Wolf. And play Smash Bros. I don't know why you'd say that. Bus travel is currently unavailable to this location. Okay, then take me to Barnard Star. I'll go to Barnard Star. Oh, and it consumes fuel. Oh my God, this game rules. <laughs> I really like this. This whole dynamic. Okay. We're at Barnard Star. That was quick. Wait, Bonnie and her captain. Uh oh. <gasps> uh oh. Oh. It comes into play. <laughs> okay, our first our first encounter with the guys who want to kill us. I actually was hoping it wouldn't be in space in my ship. But, you know. Yeah, you know. Expectations versus reality is is often disappointing. Um how about you just fly on by, stranger? Forget you saw me. Um Sure, yeah. I love that game too, but like, don't kill me. There's two of them! <laughs> Do I even have that much? You can fit way more than two credits in an Ash of Moron. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. You. Whoa! Into the asteroid I went. As if it wasn't even a problem. <laughs> Into the second asteroid I went. And many adventures would soon be had. Tune in next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! I am going to die immediately. I should not have called them morons. I should not have called them morons. That's way above my pay grade. I don't know what I was thinking. I was looking to goof around and joke around and have a little fun around, but now it looks like I'm gonna be goofing around and joking around next to the Satan himself, because I'm going straight to hell. <laughs> your ship's full integrity is low. Yeah, no kidding. Press zero to repair your ship. This consumes ship parts. I don't have I don't have any repair. I don't have any repairs. Do I? I don't have any repairs, man. I don't have any repairs. I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. Uh, uh. Oh boy. I don't know what to do. Quick! I just escaped to this planet. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to the moon. Can a girl take a vacation? Please. Please. 
Let me be. All right, I die here. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, Vasco. Goodbye, chat. Wait, does it mean... Did it mean O? Try the letter O? What is this, Sesame Street? And we're back here. Where all my mistakes truly started. Okay. Um... I wonder how... To fly a kite. I wonder how every night... I wonder, I wonder, I really, really, I'm sorry, I just burped. I apologize. Ooh, that was unbecoming of me. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have picked wanted, man. That's actually really fun. Damn it. Oh, it's just a Crimson Fleet ghost. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, so it's somewhat procedural. Thank Jesus. This is so much more manageable. Holy moly. And they die too? They shouldn't have. Ooh, that's rhythmic in a fun way. You see, oh, so that's a, that's a United Colony ship. Whoa. I'm in over my head, they said. Hold on. God damn it, let me let me loot it. It's E, right? Let me loot it. Can I not can I just not loot it while I'm actively in combat? I think I did it before. It's weird. <clears throat> oh that's my friend! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Escape this in space. No! No! No, they're attacking me! I can't catch a break, man! I did shoot them, yeah. Oh no! Oh, no! Get me out of here, man. Also, guys, that's totally a zero. What are you talking about? Wait. Wait. Oh, wait, no, no. That's a, that's a zero under... That's... That's... Okay, my shield health is zero. You know what? Let, let me let me settle this because it was going back up and i did press o it probably is o you're right i totally i must have got that confused it totally is oh my god that's my bad wow i could have survived so much so much longer not infinitely this is this is a, this is a nightmare this is a nightmare. I cannot believe I did that. Here, can I can I get out of this from the star map or is it not going to let me when I'm in active combat? The civilian outpost. I'd love to check it out. But um whoa! Yikes, that's really really bright. <laughs> Sorry. It's red. That's pretty cool. Can I just go straight here? Please. Wait, could I have done this the whole time? I think I think I could have jumped straight here the whole time. Oh my god, please. Yes? Please, I can get out of here. Let me out Let me out of here. Oh, you have to Oh, you have to power up grab drive. That's so cool. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Let me get to a safe spot. One sec. Please, wait. Engines. No. No. Shields down, go! Grab drive, go! Yes! <laughs> oh, that's such a cool system. I love that. I is is that specifically because I was in combat or 
Is it just going to do that anyway? Because if that's a combat specific feature, that's so fun. That like risk reward. Oh, contraband. Oh my god, finally. Let's go. That was so cool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be thinking about that moment. Well into the future. That was awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> we actually are about to hit the inciting incident of the game, if you can imagine. Sort of, sort of the launch pad, if you will. Okay, I'm very excited to explore this place because, you know, the, the, the rumor has it, they're like, New Atlantis, this is like one of the biggest cities we've ever made. I wonder how, uh, how dense it is. It looks very cool so far. I'm into it. What's the map looking like? Oh yeah, that's... That's meaty. Whoa, nope. Not what I wanted. Hey, Bosco. What? Memory? Your memory is uncanny. Congrats, you finally made it to White Run. Yeah, essentially. Hey. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Trade Authority kiosk. My ship needs some repairs. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Yes! Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm not gonna... Apparently... I mean, the ship modification seems like something we'll have to really establish some, some clout and, like, you know, kind of a source of income uh, to really get, like, deep into. But, um... Where'd you say I could sell things? The Trade Authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Okay, noted. That's true, wires, headphones up there. I think it's pretty cool. That's how the that's how the Makote wear headphones in uh in Final Fantasy XIV. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Game's cool, but I think it's bad that AAA games now take like five hours to even get to the start of the story. I I think you might be misattributing your frustrations with AAA games when really that's just a staple of the RPG genre since the dawn of its existence. <laughs> like, not in every case, but like, you know, you could say the same about freaking Dragon Quest. Like Dragon Quest XI takes you forever to really get to like the, not not forever, but it takes you a few a few hours to like get into like the real inciting incident, like launching point of the story. That's a fantastic game. I I don't know. I that's that's an interesting grievance. I think if if the experience overall is good, then like, you know, that's just more of it. I wish that bartender at the viewport would stop complaining to security. Yeah. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'd never annoy you in any way. Anyway, um... <laughs> oh, he loves it! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, unnamed security soldier. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Just kidding. Oh shit. Oh no. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. 
Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that. Yo! They're drip! She's got that, she's got that lounge clothes vibe. They've got that lounge clothes vibe. Not sure if those Varun salads live in Shut up, I don't care. Security office. Where's the, where's the merchant? Who Lance's information? Oh, cool. Our buildings, other buildings and services. Gal Bank. I love that uh, the, the banks are run by women in this game. Just a real girl boss moment that the entire intergalactic bank brand is so like femcore and like girl pilled, you know? I'm 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 sorry I'm not like speaking words. I don't I'm not really super into the <laughs> the default run animation. It's like too much. Like I'm not sprinting right now. This is just how like the standard jog looks. Why did they do that? <laughs> and like the walk is like a little too slow. Like look at how slow that is. There's not, there needs to be an in-between. The, the, either the walk needs to be like maybe double speed or they needed to tone down this, this jog animation. It's like, this is like the sprint animation in any other game. And then the sprint, like <laughs> that's on another fucking level. Okay. I actually really like how the sprint looks. I think that's actually kind of sick. It's like really well done. This is too much though. Like for how slow I'm moving right now. Well, I don't know. I, I, I'm sure you get me. I'm sure nobody disagrees with me, right? That'd be crazy. Is this a coffee shop viewport? Oh no, it's like alcohol, right? Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. Hey, First same to you. New Atlantis? Yeah, uh, uh, I think it was that obvious. <laughs> oh boy, I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something that's there to customers. Break the ice, know what I mean? Listen, <laughs> you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay. As Can you as get you her out of here? I'm sorry, that I can't. for you, new girl? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Hey, do you know her? <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. That was fantastic. Can I buy a drink? You're in the right place. Oh man, that's so funny. Fuck me. <gasps> Espresso! Yes, Italian style? That's the, that's the Ramona Ratatouille kind of vibe I'm looking for. <clears throat> Let's buy five espressos and always keep them on my person. Is that bananas? No, that's an octopus. Whew. All right. Uh, business seems to be booing for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. Oh? A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Okay. Well, I have to give this a try. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks oh. who ship less than legal cargo security got wind and the whole lot was impounded now they're just sitting on it taking their sweet time like they always do it's killing me um <laughs> sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink uh i like that very clever of you your parents must be so proud yeah and they take and a lot me, of my money i'm not even certain this is what i need to finish the recipe i just 
I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Hey, listen, if you're talking recipes, ingredients, I'm the guy you want to talk to. Sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's going to keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here <laughs> in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is I just love one her. friend talking to another friend, asking if mm -hmm. maybe that friend could possibly yeah. find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. Oh, yeah, but I like that. If, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% right. mm -hmm. legal way. Oh, of well, course, yeah. That might not be the worst thing in the world. Absolutely you not, yeah. With me on this? Um, <clears throat> I'm in. Who do I need to kill? What? Come on, no. <laughs> I'm already I'm uncomfortable sorry, with this. Sorry, I'm sorry. Don't go making jokes like that. I'm sorry. Seriously, can you help me with this or not? <laughs> She's gone. I'm here for you. I'll do whatever I can. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. <laughs> Who is she? I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure. There has to be a way to get. Is that the freaking ghost of Christmas future? <laughs> um, what have you tried already? Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of again totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter, at all. I went and talked to an officer at the office too, you me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Oh, yeah. I like, I like the way you think. Um, <clears throat> don't worry, I'll figure something out. Uh, no hostages. Have any information to go off of? I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Well, to celebrate that, a very special security boy's birthday. I'll also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Starlight Thief, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, don't worry, I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Oh, yeah. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No. No, of course not. It'll be fine. Well, totally fine. I, I uh, tell, t tell me one thing. Do you know who that is over there? Because if not, you might have one reason slightly unrelated, or maybe, I don't know, actually, just one reason at all to worry. Uh, if you do, then that's your that's your cross to bear. Um, all right, see you later. See you around. <laughs> Ever been to Sidonia? <laughs> My brother works there. Basco! Basco, get over here! Okay. Okay. Whew. Jesus. All right, we're clear, buddy. You can stop pretending to be shrubbery, even though you're so good at it. Look at the green on you. Oh my god! Godgasm, thank you so much for the $100 tip! Holy shit! Oh my god, that is so generous. Thank you, I appreciate that. Wow, okay. Uh, hey, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, okay, let's figure out... I want to I help this lady out. Distilling confidence. Uh, can we... Access security storage. Okay. Access secure storage. Nisa Marcano has asked me to help acquire some cargo from off-world. It's being held in a secure storage at the... Oh, it's at the spaceport. Oh, it's, so it's off-planet. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, we'll have to do that later then. Because um, I'm not about to detour that much right away. Because I do really want to, like... I want to set the larger gameplay loop into motion a little further. 
But let's go ahead and maybe we can just like beeline to um to uh constellation. <gasps> oh my god! We get to ride a train! Atlantis Transit or the Net. No way! Free transportation throughout the city. <laughs> Please tell me it's real time. I'm so excited about the trains. Please tell me it's real time. I will give anything. The mass district, please, please, please. Damn it! Oh, that's fine. All right. Well, you love them and you leave them. <laughs> That would have been so sick. The girls yearn for the trains. That's what I'm saying. The water is quite hey, hey, at least it's quick. Pleasing. At least it's quick. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. I'm I'm loving the vibes. This is so cool. That an adversarial you see is a sin of the past. Does Radcliffe even need to be involved? President Abeo wants to foster relations, not fractures. I'm not getting involved. Maybe if I was a diplomat. But I'm not. I am a chef. My love is for the culinary arts. Wow, okay, the city. Just the just even just the layout of everything. This is so fucking vibrant I love just how intricate like the world design is oh my god we can sit on the bench if we want just hang out just take it in wow oh we can wait here too that's awesome It is the little things. It is the little things. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity. It always has been. Okay. So you're fence sitters. <laughs> Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. No thanks. You know you forgot his birthday? <laughs> Whose birthday? If you have to ask, Here we are. you don't deserve the him. Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Yeah, we did hear about Yumi. We did hear about Yumi. I I noted that as well. I just didn't, didn't say it. <laughs> I hear the Buyer's Guild is hiring if you're looking for work. Not a bad way to make some gold. He'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes <laughs> you'll make this place your home. I love that. That's really cute, actually. Ooh, place is cozy. Upstairs first. Locked, locked. God damn it. I'm banning wages. I'm sick. We'll play nice. Just a little friendly conversation, Sarah. That's all. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you Hey, I remember when you said that in the direct friend. Why you're here and he isn't. Um Uh, who are you? Sarah Morgan, chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. 
Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he used. All right, simmer down, Walt Disney. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? <laughs> Hear anything? I'll <laughs> say this dude's just going to the bathroom. Okay. Uh. How many times does this happen? Who else has had these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Yeah, well. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. Oh. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. Hi, Noel. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Can Vasco do it? No, nah, that's silly of me. He doesn't have hands. <laughs> it just plopped down there. <laughs> I like that. thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, uh -oh. that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away I don't know. I rewatch Breaking Bad a lot, and despite knowing stuff. everything that's going to happen, I guess my blood pumping every time. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I... You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Yeah, her voice is great. She's very, uh, very reminiscent of the Baldur's Gate 3 narrator which Sophie and I noted on our stream was an incredible voice experience on the ears. Um, <clears throat> this is all a little much. I, I need some time to clear my head. Fair enough, but you need a place to stay in the city, right? Why don't you settle in here? We owe you that much. Come find me when you're ready. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifacts to <gasps> us. Money for my parents? In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost Yes, finally! You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. <laughs> oh, I'm encumbered again. How do I do the boost? How do I do boost? Oh, shit. I guess I can't do it indoors. Uh, talk to Sarah again. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, let me, uh, let me... Can I just, like, drop some stuff on your floor, guys? I need to sell some of this, actually. I'm not dropping my espressos, okay? So you can fucking forget that. 
Uh, boost pack, the constellation pack. Ooh. It's pretty good. I can really just get rid of all these. Yeah. Can I just like leave these on your floor? Is that okay, guys? I mean, I'm not that much of an eyesore. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. You got any dimes? I trust you're still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation, Noel. It's a dream come true, Sarah. You know that. Just making sure, bright young girl like you, there are no shortage of opportunities. We have the okay. same hair, Maybe basically. Not every single day is a dream come true. But the work we're involved in, the discoveries we're making, it's all worth it. Yeah. We have the hold on, Sarah. We have the same hair, basically. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. The eye? That's a whole story. Hold on. Let me talk. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to Goodbye. figure out my quarters. Wait, Bosco, were you gonna I show hope me? You are satisfied with the quarters available to you, Captain. Right, if someone. Oh. Now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Aww. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development. In case you ever need to build a base for field research. Yes! Uh, outpost development? What do you mean? The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, yes, uh, I'm so defenses. I'm like weirdly excited it about this. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. <laughs> Vasco gives you a handful of quarters. Don't spend it all in one place. Um, sounds useful. I'll try it next time I touch down on a planet. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. Sounds good, Vasco. Listen, as someone who, I never really got into the whole like outpost building thing in uh, like, like, well, Skyrim didn't have like outposts. It did have like uh, the homestead thing. I didn't really get into all that. And I especially didn't get into the outpost building in Fallout 4. I am, I'm like weirdly excited about it in this one. Also, where the heck are my quarters? Where are those? Go Oh, okay. My quarters? Are these my quarters? No, this is not my quarters. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I am stopping around like nobody's business. That's so funny. Where are my quarters? Where are my quarters? Where are my quarters? My quarters? Bed owned. Report on Constellation. This is not my quarters. This is somebody else's quarters. Mine? My quarters? God, this place is big. Where are my quarters? <laughs> Please? Mine? My quarters? My quarters. My quarters. Oh, Jesus Christ. It just said I it just said I could sleep in it. It just said I could sleep in it. This is not my quarters. This This is not This is not my quarters. Huh, please. Please? This is owned? Mine? My quarters, please. This is Barrett? Storage? Fancy ice bucket? Yeah, it has an ice bucket. This has to be my quarters. Moby Dick! This has to be mine, right? It's got all the staples of uh Ramona Ratatouille. Thank you. Oh my god, my quarters. <sighs> uh. 
I really hope that was my quarters. I'm gonna be real embarrassed if that wasn't my quarters. I think it is. Oh, it has to be because it has that empty store. Desktop, digiframe. Ah! I'm, I'm, I'm picking up too much stuff. I don't want to be carrying this much stuff because, like, I'm going to be over in, in cucumbered. God, this place is so windy. Holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> Like, Sarah's gonna walk up here and just like, Hey! Who the hell came up here and opened every door on the upper floor? Why? You know we have to keep these closed. We have rats. We don't want them getting into the rat poison. What? Yeah, what is it? Talk about a rude awakening. I wasn't sleeping. Talk about a rude awakening. <laughs> okay, hi, Sarah. We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. Um, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Um... <clears throat> Other people have artifacts? We have to assume... <laughs> I'm, I'm asking the, the, the real down-to-earth questions. This mystery. But most Ironically. people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Um, good. Chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to okay. take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Ooh. Hmm. Listen, you seem cool and all. I'm not sure if you're going to like my exploration style. <laughs> But hey, I mean, if you say so, you and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard Girls trip. recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? What do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as I don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some How based of, us have of you? Seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? She's like, are you, are you eating M&M's? Sarah Morgan can't be dismissed until the old the whatever the fuck has been completed. Can I have multiple followers with me? I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yeah, they went a long way. I bought a lot of M&M's. Uh, Vasco, I could use you on my crew. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Um... Perfect. Whoa! Crew menu. Manage your crew. Review and change their assignments between your ships and outposts. Different crew have different skills which enhance your ship or outposts. Cool! Change Vasco's assignment to Frontier. Damn. Okay. This is so great. All right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save here and I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, I will be back shortly.
So don't go anywhere unless unless you want. But I mean, like, I don't know. You'd, you'd miss out. The, the game's cool so far. You'd miss out. Game's cool so far. You'd miss out. But that's up to you. BRB. All right, VOD heads, we're, ba we're back. VOD heads and stream heads alike. Let's get back into it. So I will have to step away again in like maybe like 15 minutes or so. Uh, Cause stream heads will know that I did just put in an order for past midnight Dunky Donuts coffee. Uh, Cause that's just the vibe for me right now. I really wanna, I really wanna like cozy up, really sink my teeth in. Cause I'm, like I said, it's it's getting late, but I don't feel like I'm done. I want to play more. We've only seen like one planet and New Atlantis. And if this is not going to be a full stream playthrough, I really want to share some more of my experience. But this is kind of making me feel like even if it's not a full playthrough, I might still do a couple more streams of this shortly after a launch if I can fit them in. I don't know. It's it's hard to make any promises because my energy is the way it is and my schedule is the way it is. But yeah. Okay. Investigate brownouts in the well. I don't know what that means. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah, what are my missions right now? Oh, here we go. Here we go. The mission list is growing. The old neighborhood is the one we're currently on. Sarah's coming with me on my first mission. I need to speak to, in her, I need to speak to her contact in the UC Vanguard about a possible lead on an artifact. Or we could go ahead and try access secure storage. Maybe a let's play on your own time. I was kind of thinking that was the vibe. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it's likely, but I'm also not going to completely write it off. It would have to be pretty low key in terms of commentary style. Um, the problem is that I would have to have the energy to throw on recording at all. And also recording this would take away time from recording Midnight Snap, which, um, I need to kind of prioritize with my off stream recording time, but we'll see. We'll see what I can make happen. Honestly, I want to, if, if it turns out this is a game, I really want to share more of my experience of. I'm gonna do my absolute best to make that happen. But it really depends on the vibe. I'm just not making any promises, I think is the is the is the, the headline, the thesis of this whole conversation is I'm loving this and I'm loving it to the point where I'm realizing how much I like streaming it. And we'll have to see what dynamic that causes in the near future. Um <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe maybe this game I is a midnight snap kind of vibe, but probably not. Of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nut. That's fair. We all have different levels of tolerance. I I was meaning to put out a new midnight snap this week, but I think <laughs> given it's already Friday, oh, um at least statue. on the clock, it's probably not going to happen. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Probably like a big point thing. <laughs> maybe, a hey, may, maybe by wondering what it's supposed to represent, you're missing the point. Hey, I miss you. It's been a while. Welcome back. It's so good to have you. Wow, wow, wow. What am I doing? Am I tracking the right? Whoa, what just happened to my throat? Tracking. I just say like, I, I gargled. Who who turgled? Okay, let's talk to my friend, the birthday the officer, and chemical sniffers. Hmm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. All right, you got a big mouth. <laughs> Wait here a moment. Take your time. I'm gonna talk to my friend. He's my friend. He knows me. He knows me. He knows me. I can do this because we're friends. He knows me. Can I not? Oh, can I not pickpocket? What? Hey, no way. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? 
Uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. Uh, it depends on who's asking and why. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack. It's true, right? You saw some real action. Um. Uh, the Crimson Fleet attacked us. So that's what you mean by action. This is great, great. Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness. Uh, there's credits in it for credible, newsworthy information. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I should be talking about this. Just share what you want, then. All we want to know is about the attack itself. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. Oh, man, I'm running late for the meeting. What time is it? I've got no idea. You see that Doesn't suspect a thing. Fuck! <laughs> Staring at trees? Sounds upset? Whatever it is, can't be that bad, right? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Hey, do you have a spare, like, security thing? Secure, do you have a spare card for security card, security thing? Anyone want sandwiches? My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Okay, I don't care about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mothers, am I right? Oh, uh, yeah, don't I know. I need to find my parents. It's me from here out. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. All right, let's go. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. I need to. Oh, wait. I could talk to Yumi? Was that his name? Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. Hold on, hold on. Sergeant Yumi. Security and safety. Hold on. Maybe we can make some stuff happen in here. Quick save. <laughs> Shut up. I don't care. Oh, what is Sarah? What are you doing? Sarah. Oh. Good to see you. Oh, you know each other. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that incident between Mateo and Rosa at the Sanctum. I'd hardly call it an incident. More of a debate, really. But I appreciate it just the same. Not a problem. In the meantime, maybe you could tell him to take it down a notch. Can do. Thanks again, Sergeant. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Um. Job? Tell me about it. Part time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave, Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. So really, we just need someone to fill the void. Interested? I mean, if it's a part-time gig and I can, and I, you know, I make my own hours, can kind of just, I can kind of just pose as security for the amount of time that I need to get this, this lady's ingredient. And then, you know, cut ties. Definitely. Just tell me what I need to do. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience at all? I installed malware bytes. Uh, oh yeah, totally. I was head of security for the Astral Lounge on Neon for like eight years. Oh, yeah? And I'm the CEO of Galbank. Look, Damn. I can appreciate a wise ass, but if I catch you lying for real, we're going to have a problem. Well, I don't even get a minigame. I think I've got all I need. <laughs> Where's my lying minigame? <laughs> Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop, and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Um, I'm not gonna, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I wish you could check my missions from dialogue. Uh, why am I bringing this package here and not Aegis? Well, 
Just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, we've been asked ages. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. I could ask about the spaceport, but I would rather just kind of like, you know, ask forgiveness rather than permission, yeah. if that makes sense. Hey, uh, can you let me in? People joke. Say those maroon zealots worship a snake. It's personal only. I am authorized. Can I have like a security pass? Oh, yes. That should do it, right? Got the key card. And if I'm a known quantity, I don't actually know if I'm a known quantity, but like, you know. That pass was floating. It's space. Most things are floating. Get a grip. Stay focused. We're on a mission. Dude! Hey! Here you go, man! Don't spend it all in one drink. Don't drink it all in one... Don't... A diplomatic visa? so cool. I love that. I'm so into that vibe. Whoa! Too much running. Ship services. I gotta offload some cargo. Hey, what can I do for you? Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. Hey, he, hey, don't you fucking slander heat leeches. Those guys are awesome. And I'm not kidding. All right, can we sort? Let's sort by weight. Yes, oh my God, I can sell these shitty fucking helmets. Okay, let's not sell the ax. Sell my screwdriver. I don't really want the minor utility outfit. Modified Kraken is not really inspiring. Ooh. See any cracking? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Copper, cards, aluminum. Primark watch case. God, I really, I I couldn't afford it, so I don't actually. But I do. I I really want the collector's edition, man. I really. I wish I just had that to like, just blow. You know, like <laughs> like just had that money to just row out there for this game i think it's just because like you know i mean i didn't even buy the spider-man 2 collector's edition i'm trying to be a little more restrained with that kind of thing uh than i have been at my worst let's just say and man i do hey we can sell an ipad why is that only why is it only 17 cents for an ipad Probably because they got so many around here. A padded hat? That's pretty cute. And it, hey, it, it kind of keeps my hairstyle. New character's cute. Thank you. She is, isn't she? Are you on my freaking playing cards? Be pretty cool. Anyway, I really want that. I really want that watch. That, that special edition watch. Could, uh... You go a long way. I should have put all of my garbage junk in my storage safe in my quarters that I found all by myself. Hey. How about now? <laughs> all right, let's just get out of here. Actually, real quick. Let's do Chameleon Deep Core spacesuit. I do kind of like this one, man. Oh, but I still like this one more. I like the silhouette of this one more. 
I I really hope there's like a like a transmog system eventually. Why did I not sell the deep mining spacesuit? Weird. I don't want that. I don't want that. Ooh. I kind of want the jumpsuit, I think. Yeah, I'm into it. Okay. Let's go to this spaceport that we've heard so much about. Straight to the cockpit. All right. So go to the. All right. Where's 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 this freaking where's this freaking thing? Access secure storage. Wait. Is that not? Aha! Here we go. Access secure storage. Set course. For the... Wait, do we have to, like... Okay. Try, try to figure out how to get to the spaceport. Maybe I should just take off and then go from, like, outside the planet's orbit. Let's see. you're at it it said it was in space though right or did i vastly misrepresent so something led me to believe that this thing was in space and that could just be me not really understanding which i will i will concede happens quite a bit but now, yeah, now I'm wondering... Okay. Well, may maybe I misinterpreted the spaceport thing. Hold on. Yep. That's... that's here. Well, let's just... let's land at the mission. Okay. Well... I don't know, what, what made me think it was in space? Was it the word spaceport? Maybe I just misinterpreted the word spaceport to think like, it's a port in space. Oh my God, it's right there. That's why this marker was over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a port for spaceships, right? Not a port in space. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Okay, my bad. Hey, Eamon Makar. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. Hey, ain't no civilian. I can help you with? Ain't no civilian. Um, got some cargo that was impounded. I need access to it. Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. I'm security. I understand. You can't let everyone through. Rules are rules. Well, that's. Uh, thank you. Sure, we can work something out. <sighs> I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this to you. I can lose my job over it. If anyone asks. I Why is he not just letting me in, man? I got the, it. I got the ID card. See? Look at that. All right, make it quick, will you? This is easy as that. I did. Maybe I should have just done that in front of him, and he'd be like, "Oh, you're security. Nice to meet you, security." And I'm like, "That's not my name. My name isn't actually security, dumbass." And he'd be like, yeah, you're not going in. I hey, I'm just taking the package. I can take the money. I I will be somewhat I'm I'm gonna be like a Mike Ermintrout character. I was hired to do a job. I did it. It's as far as it goes. You know? No credits for me. That's somebody else's shit. Easy as that? slow down my coffee's almost here i'm so excited uh... ah! as i said that it just it just popped up hold on a uh, quick shanty moment 
shanty moment over, and uh, I actually paused the recording, so Vodheads, I'm sorry you missed out on your first ever shanty moment. But guess what? In a... In a display of stunning foresight, uh, previous 20 minutes, Penny, got future right now, gorgeous right now, Penny, some, some little hash browns as well. I completely forgot I got these, and you know what? Kind of a genius. Let's go. Just a little, just a little snack. Oh god, I forgot. It's a Dunkin' coffee. I need to stir it. Like, <laughs> Fuck. No, get it. Get closer to the top. Hold on. <laughs> you ever just take a? Sh you ever just take a? <laughs> It's not like I was about to say you ever just take a shit. That's not what I was gonna say. Does so he ever just take a sip that's like 70% sugar? Oh my god, okay, that's better. Holy fuck. Yeah, anyone here ever take a shit? <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry, that's gross. Have you been to Sidonia? My brother works there. Smile quickly faded, huh? Talk to me again. See what happens. Sarah, can you not, like, really just in unintentionally de escalating the situation here? You know, <gasps> I was just mentioning you to someone. Oh, not this again, Nessa. I'm fine. I really am. I'm just saying. None of those rocks you spend time digging up are going to keep you warm at night. I'm just looking out for you. I, I, I'm, I'm warm enough, but thank you. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey! Hey there, new girl. That's so Good cool. Good to see you again. Can I get you oh. something? Well, the instant repeat. Spooky! Hi! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. Hey, we're playing some Starfield. Uh, we're about four hours in, uh, but let me tell you, it's been a great time so far. You're welcome to stick around. I still got a couple hours or so in me, maybe, depending on, you know, we'll see. The, 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 the night's still young. I could always just go to bed, which is what people mean when they say the night's still young. Um, and it's getting old quick. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, thank you, Spooky. I appreciate it. Um, hey, I'm going to keep on going with Starfield. We just got... Uh, a secret impounded ingredient. We stole it from a security outpost for this lady right See, here this who needs it for like a special. Things. Otherwise, I'm just giving a speech and I hate public speaking. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. You were rude to me. It's over. It's fucking over for you. You were rude to me for a second. We're through. Um, anyway. Welcome. What were y'all up to? I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to continue the dialogue until I know what Spooky's chat was up to, okay? It's important. Shitting on Starfield! Oh no! I actually really like it so far. Shit talking and not much else. That's fair. Hey, you know, to each their own. Well, I'm not going but uh, anywhere. you know. I guess I can wait. I, I, from from my perspective, over here, we've been having a great time. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I have a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Um, yeah, don't worry. No one died getting this. One guy was not. really, he this looked really stupid in front of my chat, me, though. But it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, it was funny. I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm <gasps> going to let you have the first ever sample. 
On top of that, it's just like a, it's just like the drinks. first ever not, shamrock shake like in this universe. Free drinks, but you want a little pick me up now and then? I got you covered. Yeah. I need some time to work on what comes next, but this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really, thank you so much. Invented the pumpkin spice latte. True. Well, okay, we got a supernova. What is Catch that? You later. Supernova. Okay. Uh. Nope. Whoa! It looks cool. <laughs> Whoa! Crazy. I was that upside down. Where's the Where's the bottom? Oh, that's okay. It's like this. Uh. A liquor slush floated over a sour punch of exotic alien fruits. Plus 12 persuasion chance. That actually rules. Wait. This is so pretty. I would drink this so much. I would drink this forever. For the rest of my life. For every meal. Hi, Sarah. We hate her. Just so you know, new, new new people in chat just know we hate her. She has rancid vibes. Okay, who's what? What is it leading me to right now? Distilling confidence. Okay, we did that. The old neighborhood. Oh yeah, yeah. We're going to the UC Vanguard. Got it. Okay, so a lot of stuff is still like on here. Light in the darkness. Nadia Mufaz is a researcher. Oh yeah, we want to talk to this researcher. This is like uh, this is giving me like Piper quest vibes or at least the intro where she's like i want to interview you or she at least wanted to interview somebody i don't know it's been a while since i played fallout 4 to any notable extent that's actually like keep up girl that's um i was gonna say it's one of the possessed games i've played the least that's not true uh actually it's it's my second most played as of right now funny enough so you know I've, I basically only really played Skyrim, if I'm being truly honest. I've played about like maybe 10 hours, 10 to 15 hours of Fallout 4 uh, in a single playthrough at most. Um, not the biggest fan of Fallout 4, but I'm also not the biggest fan of Fallout in general. Um, I kind of just don't vibe with it. Like even New Vegas, I've tried it. I've tried so many times to get into New Vegas because I know people love New Vegas. I just can't do it. I don't know what it is. I just don't, I just don't, I don't know if I'm into the Fallout, like, world design and the, like, the, like, that style of post-apocalypse is maybe not my most cherished in a video game format. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, it's not like a, it's not like a fantasy for me, like space can be. I don't even like space that much. It's my favorite. Yeah, I I know that because I'm pretty sure I've I, I mean I've I know I've said this multiple times on stream before, Alexa. Uh, okay, let's go to commercial district. Not into nuclear post-apocalyptic stories. Got it. No, no, no. I'm not into Fallout style. That the Fallout rendition of nuclear post-apocalypse specifically is what I'm not into. I'm not, I, I don't mean to write off any given genre or theme or anything. That's not my style. But every time I've tried to play a Fallout game and I've tried to play multiple Fallout games. I've tried four, I've tried New Vegas. I've even tried one. I just can't, I just can't get into it. Hello. Yeah, no, I exactly own an answer. It's too grungy. It's too like, it's like too barren for me. Which is funny because I'm about to play, <laughs> like okay. probably came up with in terms of overall Travis ratio of barren to non-barren landscapes. Everybody needs to stop talking right now. Anyway, there's a lot of planets in this game that are just empty, and we know this, so that's kind of funny that I would say that. And so far, I'm loving this, but you know. Might be able to hook you up with some merch. Maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. I'm standing in line. I'm a polite do. lady. You are the best. Fan girl. David's amazing. And I hear he's single. Welcome to SSNN. Please tell me you're not here to see Mr. Baron. 
We might be. Sarah? Love to... Okay, well. <laughs> They're just letting just me in, got a so... Feeling about you. You have a story oh, to no, tell. right. We're here to see Nadia. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Baron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. I've never heard of this man in my life. Um... Nice to meet you, too. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> How about a do-over? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you actually feel bad. You... I'm sorry. You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Um, I have a... I have a... Uh, you have a rash? I have a tiny chef that tells me what to do. Um... Uh, actually, wait. Actually, uh, your intern asked me to do an interview. <laughs> like, should we just say it up front? I, okay, one thing this game sorely needs, I'm really missing from Baldur's Gate right now, coming, like, coming from that game. Oh my god, this game needs, like, like a dialogue log. Why that is not a standard feature in every RPG, regardless of what subgenre it is, You're... is beyond me really unusual my life has gotten very weird and interesting lately um i always wanted to be famous i can't promise you that if your story checks out your name may not be in the final copy but i have the feeling you might be one day i'm interested only in primary sources so things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy no hearsay so what do you got for me Okay. Deliver news about the Vectera finding attack. Find news stories for us as an end. Um, yeah, the Crimson Fleet attacked an Argos mining facility on Vectera. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Tell them about the ore. That was quite a lucrative operation. Okay, hey, Sarah. You butt out? <laughs> like, <laughs> this, is, this is my deal. Um, it's really weird that dialogue logs have, haven't become more common outside of CRPGs. Yeah, even fucking Tears of the Kingdom had a log for, pre for previous dialogue interactions. Like, come on. If, if Nintendo is is seeing that it's worth it to implement a quality of life feature you know that everyone else should have implemented it like 10 years ago like like the moment nintendo jumps on a quality of life feature that means it's about a decade late for every other company in the industry to implement that feature am i wrong um constellation okay uh uh, we were mining beryllium, iron, some rare minerals. Easy credits for them. I have no idea. Oh uh, yeah, I have no idea. Just glad I survived. Same here. Interviewing corpses isn't my forte. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Wait. I mean, it's like a lie, right? Um, I was, I ran the whole dig. Supervisor Ramona Ratatouille at your service. I tip my hat, but I seem to have misplaced it. Your we want that in the paper, even if it's not true. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? Well, they were neurodivergent and minors, so... Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like the easiest joke I can think of. Um... Let's see. I killed the whole lot of them single-handedly. <laughs> it's like... I took point on defense, uh... I took point on defense with my handy mining laser. 
Uh, yeah, we add help. Barrett, a member of Constellation, and his robot Vasco. How heartwarming. We'll throw Vasco in there for the glory. banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Fluffy Albert, miners hi! Band together and punch above their weight. I'm doing so well. I'm playing Starfield. Like this, drop by. Alfred, and we're in space right to now. Cover any incidentals or other creative ways to it's so good to see you. Report. Thank you for popping in. Hey, let's catch up soon. Truly. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. She was way older than I was expecting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what just happened. Holy shit. Okay. Did we just, uh, do we have to cancel you again? No, it was just that the lighting David hadn't, like, loaded in. And she was, like, moving in a weird way. I don't know, man. That was a lot. <laughs> Laughs in old lady's face. Yeah. Yeah, put that in your in your fucking news story. Ah! Okay, sorry. All right. S, 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 and N, N, N. <laughs> so where's Jupiter at? Let me show you. Wait, let me show you. Shit! Let me show you! Wait, is this? No, this isn't. This isn't Earth, is it? No, this isn't Earth. Where would Earth be? Gagarin. <laughs> okay, Alfred, I have something to admit to you. I lied. I don't know where Jupiter is. We just started. Better call Soul. <gasps> I want to see if I can fly into the sun. Hold on. That'll be my next course of action. So let's go to Grism. <laughs> let's go to Grissom. Uh... Icarus moment. How far away is it? Is this doable? <laughs> That's so far away. Oh, man. I don't know if this is happening. Where are we right now? I don't know if it's possible. It might just be set dressing. TBH. The gas giant in the star system, you could probably find a storm spot to jump into. Wait. That's actually a fantastic idea. Hold on. Let's put everything into engines. How close? How close can we get? Just we'll just quick save right here. Kind of loving this vibe. Just the visual of this is really striking to me. I don't know. can't tell if it's getting closer. It must be, right? I am I am moving the spacecraft, yes. I, the engines are in fact propelling me forward. I don't know, guys, I don't know if this is happening. We we honestly we might hit like a like an arbitrary limit before we even make it. 
don't know. I don't know if the game is gonna like. I don't know if the game system is going to let me fly into the sun, or even going fast enough for it to matter. Hey, Alexa, have some faith. I'm going 149 speed. Okay, you can see it in the lower left corner. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's getting bigger. <laughs> I think we're getting closer. Let's see. We're still at Grism. <laughs> oh no. It's not it's not even showing me where I am. I want to fly into the sun. Maybe maybe with maybe with faster jets and and a ship with more heart in Seoul. What if you turn around? Are you getting further away? Let's see. I thought about that, yeah. God damn it, Grism! Get out of here, man! No one wants to see you! getting away from Grissom anytime soon. <laughs> anyway. Happy birthday, Grissom! Ah! That's me getting shot when I said happy birthday, Grissom. Um. Use of certain commands will disable achievement. <gasps> Wait! Are you telling me we can't get a hundred thousand simoleons on command? What is even the point of playing this shit game? Find new stories for us, 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 and in, in, in. Due to staffing issues, Sergeant Yumi has asked me to work as a part-time security officer. I don't want to do this anymore. I got my shit. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought I would have to fight my way through like a security space station. By the way, I do want to find a space station and go there. Where are my parents? <laughs> Wait, I want to meet my parents. I really want to meet I really want to meet my parents before I end the stream. Gone? They're not gone. I have the kid stuff trait. I know, I know, I know. Hold on, where's my, you receive one skill point to, oh my God, I've had three skill points this entire time. So you have one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. You complete, complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. Top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you spend a minimum number of skill points in that category. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Sorry. Status? You have an affliction. I wait, I still have joint pain? <laughs> Since when? Can I see can I May I see it? Starfield said no. Crime. I actually can't see it. It's just, it just won't let me see my joint pain. Traits. Where are my parents? Uh, I want to meet them. I wonder if it'll like pop up as like a mission at some point, maybe. Dude, I should go to bed, I think. Not in real life, in the virtual world where everything is possible. Lodge, mining outpost. Oh, okay. Um, talk to the scientist by the tree. Since when? Speak to Agent Plato. Let's go to uh, what is 
Is the lodge... That's probably not where Constellation is, right? Maybe your parents don't want to meet you. Hey, yeah, they just want to take like 10% of my money every week. It's good to be here. That's fair. That's it's it's very like them. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed in the lodge, and then we'll see how that progresses things. I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation's contribution. My contact is. I'll be right here. All the doors are still open. <laughs> yes, because I wasn't around to fucking close them after your rampage. What rampage? I haven't paid for shit. You gave me these quarters for free. Oh God, where are my quarters? Where are my quarters? <laughs> shit! Where are my quarters? <gasps> my quarters! I know because I put a plant on there. Privacy. Everybody wants a little privacy. Close the door, and then you'll see the wondrous world of privacy. Privacy.com has all of your VPN needs. If you want a VPN that you can trust, head to privacy.com. Not sponsored. In real life, this stream is not sponsored. I'm just making a joke. Okay. Um. Hey, that plant was sleeping? Yeah, well, not sleeping on the bench. I'm realizing now I totally could have been like harvesting all the like elements that I was scanning on that one planet. Like this entire time I could have been like gathering resources. Anyway. Let's put the freaking eon into the storage container and the Grendel. I have I had four Grendels? That sounds about right. Oh my god, that's why I've been <laughs> so over-encumbered all the time. I had so much shit on me. There's too much shit on me, I can't breathe. Oh, this one's modified. Get out of here. I don't want to be around anymore. What? I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> you know, like you don't want to live anymore? I don't know. You don't want to live because you're carrying four Grendels? Yep. What the f- why, why can't I- I- I was literally just able to see all my clothes. What happened? Please. Please. I don't want two maelstroms. What is going on? Inventory! That's it! I pressed Q and it- oh, okay. Grendel's fight. Man, this is in military time. <laughs> Fuck that. Wait. 140. Oh, oh, that's it's got it underneath. Okay. AM? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 
Hurry up! Uh oh. Uh oh. You are the soundest sleeper I've ever ah! seen. Jesus Christ! I left you out to get out of my quarters! Did you did you not hear my song about privacy? Insane. No respect. <laughs> Said Moby. <laughs> well then, how does she like it when I disrespect her? That's, that's, this is no satisfaction. You look like a Ken doll. Pick it up again. Oh. <laughs> Someone just said pillow activity. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Incense. Well, I'm not making any sense of that. Why is there incense on my bed? What the fuck? Hey! You do? <laughs> Please let me pick up the chair. Fuck. Okay. Uh. Not what I wanted to pick up. <laughs> Please. How do I. I wish I could- could I, like, rotate any other way? Already at full health. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Is there any other kind? Here we go. I really wish there were more, like, just open buckets in this game. So that I could put buckets on people's heads like you can in Skyrim. But hey! This might be the next best thing! Hold on! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, baby! frame of painting. Every photo a memory etched in time's weave. Sir Living Tombstone's Journal. Oh god, please! We're just chairs! You're not chairs. How did she know? Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm sorry. I'm fucking around too much. Well, that's not true. Wee! Whoop! Wee! Okay. Your Sarah, you safe went. Return to the lodge will please the other members of Constellation. 
<laughs> Maybe if, if you notice me <laughs> walk up to an item on a table and stare at it for a suspiciously long amount of time, you can assume that I am in fact holding down the E button to try and pick it up. Okay. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? No, nah, I'm sticking with this stick in the mud. We need to talk to John Tuala. Lead the way. All right. Let's talk to John Tuala, I guess. Whatever. It's still nighttime? No. <laughs> what are you doing? No, don't tell me. You just slept. Thank heavens. You were just staring into space, like like you, you were unresponsive. Are you okay? Are you alive? Well, okay. You have a nice <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting I could like, like bounce off of his head, Mario style. Not kill him, of course. Just bounce. Okay, uh, let's go to... Oh, is this where we're currently trying to... Okay, which which one? Which one? Which one is the old neighborhood? Talk to Sarah's contact. Which one? Which one is that? Yeah, okay, that is the... That's the scientist, right? Okay. By the tree, it says? Which tree? Oh, right, we can, we can lead us there. Over here! Having that jumping perk as an excuse to stomp on people. Yeah, that jumping perk is sounding better and better by the minute. Examining your hands? What the hell are these? There's so many jump there's so Welcome many extensions. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. How's the game so far? I'm loving it. It's exactly what I was looking for. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Um, Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through Can you like can you get up oh, here? Another space explorer. <laughs> Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Um, uh, uh, maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what <laughs> I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Health patrol the old neighborhood. Moera. Sol, Mars, Neptune. Make you know. way, make way. The Sol system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Um. Fuck. I'm sorry. They need a log. <laughs> they need a dialogue log. Uh, we'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Uh, we're on a spaceport. 
Sounds like home. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. Everyone in this game stares right into your soul. I know, it's great, right? I mean that yes, with full sincerity. Something. Yeah, I need your elevator. I don't know why. Wait, okay, so. The soul system is in fact, oh, wait, the old neighborhood. Yeah, is, wait. Is the old neighborhood, is that where Earth is? Soul. Can I, I guess we have to, I wish I could like zoom in on it where we, Soul is our son. Got it, okay. <laughs> Albert, if you're still here, <laughs> hold on. I may have found, what were you looking for, Jupiter? Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, it's Mars, yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Mercury. All right, where's our guy? Where's our guy? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh He didn't leave anything back on Earth. Wait. Where are my parents? <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I'm sure this game has nothing to say about that whole situation. Uh, we could go right to, yeah, we could go right to Mars. We could do something else. Let's see. Star, star station. I want to see about these little star stations they got going on here. Or we could go straight to Sidonia. Maybe. Uh, I do want to check out the star station, actually. The more I think about it. Let's hang out for a second. Nova Galactic Star. There's so much. Deimos. No, get out of here. Star station. Wait. Star station. Send me there, Chuck. You're not a real lawyer. What? Oh, wrong Chuck. Get out of here. Well, uh... <laughs> oh, this is sick. Wait. Can I just, like, pull in? Oh, please. <gasps> awesome! Hold on. Where do I land? <laughs> Can I land? Where's the map? Stop showing me the jelly bean. Ah, ah. I don't know if I can land anywhere. Can I? <laughs> the up. Hey! Hey, what the fuck are you doing out there? Hey! Who are you? I'm trying to land on your start. Field. What the fuck's a starfield? It's probably more of a docking port situation. Yeah, I figured. Oh, right here, maybe? <laughs> okay. Wait. Let me dock. There's plenty of unintelligible chatter. Oh, you know what? I know what part of my problem is. Part of my problem is that I've been going full throttle in ways I really just do not need to be doing. Is that where? I feel like there should absolutely be like a talking port visible. I can't see shit. <laughs> yeah, my engine power is full. What about it? 
It's not like anybody's gonna attack me unprompted with no explanation or no no recourse for getting away. That's certainly not a not a trait we picked, if that's what you're asking. Okay, I gotta be circling in on some kind of docking station. Soon. Reverse. Reverse. Please. Check where other ships are. I can't see shit. I mean, ship. We're in space. We're not at a dang vantage point. But what is space if not the vantage point? See, there's like this marker here that looks like it should be like something I can interact with, right? Right? Like, look at this. Can I... If I... What if I get just like... Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're onto something after all. Demo Star Yard. Doc! Here it is! Yes! <laughs> Whoa, interesting transition animation. We parked! We found a parking spot. Oh, cool! That's bored. I don't know if I'm actually so welcome here. Before we leave? Hmm? Hi, Demos. Cool. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. Holy shit. When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists used Where's this coming from? starships to oh. venture into space. When the UC defended itself from the Crimson Fleet, House Red shirts? And the Free You guys got to get out of here. It was Deimos's state of the art technology that was uh, I wish Deimos was exclusively a military contractor. <laughs> this is like a little some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. Were you That's running? That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. It's like a little, little, oh, like a, Deimos. with the equivalent of like a aviation museum, but for spaceships. Deimos ships are responsible for countless victories. Wow! Happy birthday, Hatsune Miku. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not getting, uh, Sarah, get back. Sarah, Sarah, hey, come here. Sarah, Sarah, get up here. Thank you. Um, I'm not getting within 10 feet of anybody who is stanced the fuck up like that. We're out, we're out of here. We can come back. This is the heart of the UC. I think I said this is the hot of the UC, and I'm like, uh, then where's the cold? Still no luck finding my parent. <laughs> my parents. It keeps showing me the jelly bean. Uh, fuck. There's a lot of stuff in Seoul. Like, like there's a ton of icons here. Noticing that? This is the Nova Galactic Star Yard. Miranda sensor contact. Galbank secure transport. Like, there's a lot of shit here. Hostile activity. What is that about? Phobos? Okay. Well. Again, I'm gonna try and keep up the pace while I'm streaming this. Let's just keep, uh, let's keep barreling forward. The Mars Mech Factory! <laughs> what? Okay. Let's go to Sidonia. Yes. No, specifically, actually very specifically wanted to just go ahead and... Wait, no. Let me... 
Can I just... Oh, okay. Well, we can just go. Yeah. Armored court starts now. No way. The, the secret stealth cross promotion drop with armored core? Oh, they need to scan contraband. That's right. Uh oh. Oh, we don't have contraband. Thank God. I was like, I was like, this. It's a security card count. It doesn't though. We're good. All right, let's land in Sidonia. that one. Oh, you can see why you see Marines that get sent here. Consider this posting a punishment. I look like Crimson Fleet, but don't assume things about me. Oh, can I try my... I want to try my... How the hell does the jetpack work? Hold on. We're getting to the bottom of this right now. Power, zoom in, jump, sprint, quick keys, quick keys. Fire boosters, L shift. No, that's spaceship. What? Am I going crazy? I have, I have a fucking thing. Jump. I have a booster pack. This is gonna, this is gonna drive me insane. Basic boost pack, right? So what? Huh. Oh, well, that's not it. Okay, whatever. Maybe, like, maybe we still just need to wait a little bit. But I, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing shift. I'm pressing, I'm double jumping. I'm just like, huh? That is not. That was not immediately clear to me. Uh, if anybody knows what's going up, I'll go ahead and take some some chat guidance on on this fact. Cause I want my boost back. Think you need training? Is it maybe? Oh, is it maybe in the thing? Physical, current rank, boxing, fitness, all the weight lifting. No. Social combat, only lasers. Science. There's a skill in the skill tree for booster. Oh! Remember how it was a trade at the start? Oh shit. I like don't, I don't remember that. But, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I didn't immediately pay more attention to this menu when they tutorialized it for me. To really like settle it in. It's my bad. Okay, you can now utilize boost packs. Got it. I thought, I thought that was just like a given when we got it, but no worries. Okay, we have gastronomy, scavenging. Okay, this is making a lot more sense now. Um, let's go ahead and get some. Okay, we're we're getting carrying capacity. Absolutely, we're getting carrying capacity. Perfect. Um, and then I want more oxygen as well. Let's just get like just some basic like baseline level, uh, upgrades here to just like our overall situation because we have some bonus perks from our our background already so we we're, we already got a bit of a head start we got the boost pack and all that the okay Find me when it's done. there we go that's great okay <laughs> okay <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, okay. This is fun. This is awesome. I'm very, I'm very glad about this. Oh shit, I can only use it in verse. So it's kind of like a, it's like a triple, like quadruple jump right now. I wonder if we can, I wonder how that upgrades further. Um, but okay, so this is funny to me specifically because of uh, an interview where uh, Todd was asked like, hey, are there like ground vehicles in this game? And he was like, no, but the boost pack does help you get around. You might not even need them. And I'm just looking at this and I'm like, ah, yes. A real replacement for vehicles. <laughs> hey, you know what? I will say, I do feel like I've been given some, some mobility here. Um, that's fun. I really like this. Okay. This, this, this is made me glad. Awesome. This is the car of the future. No, you're absolutely right. And the spaceships are not. They're the planes. Okay. Where are we headed? Are we going in? Oh, yeah, the mining colony. Got it. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Oh, you have the voice filter on. Your face looks insane right now! Ah! Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, hold on, hold on. Ding! <laughs> Ding! Holy fuck. Your fucking days are numbered, my friend. Whoa, the fidelitine. Wow, that lighting is not flattering, I'll say that much. And yeah, look at my own character. See, I look cool. I look normal. You don't look normal, Sarah. Her face looks like a JPEG. Humanity's stepping stone to the stars. Uh, okay. Where's the utility section? Where's the utility section? Tell me! I need them! Look, 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 I get it. But we just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. It's possible they may not extend. I don't care about this. I got the wife and kid. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. Yeah, I love grass. <laughs> this life Just a normal is... amount, though. Did you know Don't get any ideas. Makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy. If you ask me, that. I don't think you want to see the heat leeches like that. I just want to see the heat leeches at all, okay? Regardless of whatever state they're in. Need anything. Okay, I was just in inspecting for any, um, you know. You're not who I need to talk to. You're boring. What the fuck? Particle concluded. That's awesome. Wait, I really like that. I went completely the wrong way. Check on this way. Where is this? Broken spear. How goes? Ooh. Oh yeah, this is, this is the bar they were talking about. Dude, the walking speed is too slow. I keep accidentally hitting tab while turning, walking off and on. The walking speed is too slow, man. You just stood up. 
serving drinks here for over 40 years. The place is gonna offer that close to Oh yeah? McDonald's, Burger King, Arby's, Taco Bell. <laughs> he can't even look at me. Um, let's get a drink around here. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. No supernovas? Oh, I'd like a drink. What's your poison? Why don't you get me a nice... Nice, uh, uh, <laughs> whiskey juice box. Awesome. Yeah, but you give me one of them Solomon's Reserve. Um, <clears throat> looking for a vanguard named Mora. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Um, space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worst. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but. If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? Um, okay. Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. Skip to the part where you admit you're lying? Wait, that's awesome. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar <laughs> right now. <laughs> Shit, Sarah. Oh, hey, please. read the room. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get Whoa. what we want. Whoa. Fine. Whoa. That's awesome. Wait. That's really cool. I I love that feature. That's so sick. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm, I don't even know how many credits we have on hand. Probably probably enough, right? I don't know. Uh, he uh, let's try this. He can eat help. Shouldn't put a price on that. Come Persuasion mini game. Life on Sedonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? I mean, not that, like, none of these are my style. Listen, every minute that passes, he could be in danger. <sighs> oh, shit! All right. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time I was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. I like her, lady. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Red and orange, everything's All right. Just as far as the others. I'm stuck to wear on you. You talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> Most visitors can't wait to get off this rock. I hate your vibes. <laughs> God, they get out of here. <sighs> get out of my way! Hold on, hold on. Putting this away. There we go. Um, all right, well. So you just go to Venus. You need to find Mara, who might be in possession of an artifact he was last seen patrolling the solar system. And just got info that he's probably at Venus or something like that. I don't know. Uh, the details escape me because my brain is broken. Um, check out your ship's inventory. What does that mean? Wait. 
Why? To what end? Oh, probably for, um, probably for the, the freaking settlement building thing, right? That was, that was something they wanted to show me a little more of. Yeah. Oh, it's in activities. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, there's a ton of stuff in here. Oh, activities is like a whole little notepad full of potential, like, quest openings. Oh. Okay. <gasps> ah! See your parents! <gasps> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see my parents. This might be the last thing I do tonight. Stream's getting a little long, and I need to actually get this uploaded ASAP for Ellie. So... They're in Alpha Centauri? Where are they? Wait. At Pioneer Tower? They were in New Atlantis the whole time? Oh my god. All right, we're going. How much fuel do we have? We got plenty. Wait, do we? We're fine. Let's go. All crew counted. This is UC security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. I thought so it said, oh my god, I thought the marker was on the sun. <laughs> Finally. I wish. I wish my parents were on the sun. So far. Holy shit. That was so fucking funny. Oh my god, that hit me like a train. That's amazing. Oh man. I cannot believe that. Oh, alright. I chill out for a second. Oh my god. <laughs> that it looks appropriate for a loading screen too. I'm just really good at taking pictures. Alright, let's go home to mama and papa. Residential district. I should have known to check there just to see. That was a lot. That was a lot. Pioneer Tower! Oh man, okay. Saw your ship coming. Nice ride. I used to be an adventurer like you. you really can't complain about something that is who's who's really talking about all art being political? Yes, keep politics out of war, please. Sometimes I think people just like to be contrarians. The problem is when they make it their entire personality. I don't think that's a problem. Too slow. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> He's waiting. He knows something. He fucking knows something. What does he know? Is it about the cigarettes? Is it about the <laughs> One day my baby girl will come home. Hi, Dad. What? Well, I'll be. 
Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, his <laughs> lips are insane. Hold on. Wait. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, daughter, but I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? <laughs> Why does he look like that? Dad, are you okay? Daughter. <laughs> this rules. Your dad looks like the man you see in your dreams. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's straight up. Oh my god. He looks, he looks like this man. He looks like this man. Have you seen this man? Yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> Can you take that photograph down, please? <laughs> that's a that's a family heirloom. <laughs> Can you could you imagine if the answer to have you seen this man was yeah, it's my dad. What kind of what kind of life are you living? Anyway, I have to delete. I have to I have to wait for a second for um my pictures to be sorted by date cuz I have to delete the this man picture from my picture uh from my computer cuz I have to delete the this man picture from my computer as soon as possible. Um because it like actually scares me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I hate looking at it. It like actually it makes me uncomfortable. Like it actually scares me. I'm not kidding. I have like a real like irrational fear of the this man picture. But I did it for the bit. I did it for the bit. Anyway. Um Uh don't assume it's bad news. I got a big time promotion. I'm in constellation now. Now, now, it's just with our family, the news isn't always great, but Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Yeah, it actually kind of fucked me up as a kid, Mom. Um... Uh, you know about Constellation? I never heard you talk about it. Well, I know what I've read about in the news. The Explorers. Years ago, there was a stretch where Constellation was in fashion. People would gossip about them all the time. I, I must say it's been a while since I've heard anything about them, though. Glad to know they're still around. Eh, we'll see how Constellation plays out. Oh, in life, you need to celebrate the victories you get. Because you don't know when the next one's coming. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. Okay, Mom. If I'd known I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Uh, although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the girl catch her breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. By the way, <laughs> this week's payment. <laughs> Daughter. <gasps> Slippers. Uh... Please tell me I can put those on. Please tell me I can put those on. Please tell me I can put those on. Please. Damn it. I'll steal it. No one will ever know. Anything good to watch tonight? Well, there's Silence of the Sands. I mean, I want to watch it sometime. Where's my room? Something light. It's mine. Why are you making it? Desktop globe. Plushy Galacticat! Oh! It's my Galacticat! I remember you! Hi, Galacticat! <laughs> Guys! Oh my god, I can't believe you kept Galacticat! And also, did you fill it with bricks? Because it's really fucking heavy. 
Oh my god, it's my galactic cat. Guys, it's my favorite. It's just a pile of my favorite jumbo We've been shrimp. Given a precious opportunity. Seize it and never look back. <laughs> yeah, Sarah! Sarah, look, they kept my galactic cat! Um great. <laughs> Sarah, my plushy parsec pooch. <laughs> Sarah, look it. Um, all right. Regina, I'll, I'll be outside. <laughs> oh, I know all about her. Well, she's I actually making love me redo this. the whole report from scratch because she gave me the wrong information. You worked on that for days. I know. I swear next election, I'm stepping down. I can't stand her. Are we looking for solutions <gasps> or sympathy? <gasps> what? Oh, what's this about? <laughs> Fred from the poker group said 90% of all marital strife would go away if you just know whether you need to offer help or a friendly ear. Fred's a wise man. I suppose sympathy. Then that Regina is a monster. There ought to be a law. Yes, I agree. Damn straight. Yes, and the taxes are awful this year. And the and the business expenses are are taxes and uh and and at the business factory, their layoffs are expenses and many, many taxes are causing strikes in the union organization. Well, thanks for watching the stream, everybody. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, it's getting pretty late, so I'm not really gonna go out of my way to raid anybody. Are they gonna talk again? Where's the tissue paper? <laughs> you don't know where that is? love this game oh my god i'm adoring this game okay <laughs> well actually i changed my mind about not rating somebody let's let's just see let's check first is anybody live hey duke's live uh, you know what it's been a while since we did a duke raid duke is currently doing some late night dinosaurs let's go let's let's go give let's go give duke a, a raid oh man all right, <laughs> where's, so raid phrase is definitely gonna be where's the tissue paper, just so you know. All right, everybody, I had a fantastic time tonight. I will consider doing another Starfield stream in the near future. I do have to make up for skipping Last of Us and then do that in the weekend slot. Um, and I might not have much time to stream more than once this weekend, but we'll see. Maybe tomorrow if I don't feel like just vibing and taking off again. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. Anyway, um, I am excited to play more. Uh, I, man, it feels weird, right? Because I feel like I, I feel like I want to come back to this. I, I, I like, I feel like we're not done, you know, but also this game is so big and it really might just have to be something I do on my own time, despite how amazing it would be to stream. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can come up with some way to like, organically share my experiences with this game as I as I move through it. But you know, worst case scenario, you got a little preview tonight of what's in store. If you decide to give it a run for yourself, of course it'll be on Game Pass and everything. So it's not you don't have much to lose giving it a try if this interested you. Um so yeah. Uh <clears throat> I will let you go uh vodheads thanks so much for watching uh and if 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 more starfield content happens in the future i hope you enjoy it if not tune in for other stuff because i got lots of stuff coming up and i hope you enjoy the rest of it i'll see you soon <laughs>